Come in, come in. The show is about to begin. Tonight, we'd have all the way from Holland, Dutch Rocker, here on the Yen York City Live podcast. What's up? This is Jens, and I I have my co-host Luna Satori. Welcome in, everyone. How's everyone doing on this Monday, February first? Can you believe it, guys? We're in February now. It's I mean, it's time is flying. It is. It's gonna go pretty fast because it it always I don't know. Last year felt like a time warp. Like I, I, after March, it felt like I don't I don't think any any month felt like a certain month. Like. Uh, spring and summer didn't it felt like it was like mushed together in a way and then it was before you know it it was like christmas and i don't know we're finally getting snow too it (laughs) snowed today it snowed and it was so beautiful because you know in new york city it only looks nice and pretty for just a very short time and then it just looks like mush so you know it's just pretty for a little while it's not like being someplace like our our guest who's from holland um, you guys, I'm so excited because he's one of those those guests that I've been looking at and I'm like, oh my god, I need to get him on. And everyone's been telling me like, oh, Dutch rocker, Dutch rocker. And you know, I'm, I'm lurking in there and his energy is infectious. It's He's just so happy and such a skillful, talented, fun, loving person, artist, musician, um, Barry Van Smeden. I love his name. <laughs> I love his name because his name just sounds like like a rock star. Like that's the kind just of badass. It does. It <laughs> sounds like a name that you would make up, but you weren't born with it. You know, like you wish you were like Barry Van Smeden, but no, his name is that's his name. I mean, he it's was, like I wish I was Linus Satori, but <laughs> <laughs> right. And how's everyone doing in chat? I see um, Simon Drum Simon Drums with Simon is in chat, another drummer, Nick D, Eric, Drew. Wow, let's how many people are coming in. Thanks everybody for coming in on Duchess side. If you guys are night owls, I know it's really late for everyone on his side, but if you guys are tuning in or if you're watching the VOD, the replay, Thank you so much. I really appreciate you being here and enjoying the podcast. These podcasts are for you to get to know our favorite Twitch streamers, artists, musicians, and a lot of them are not just musicians here on Twitch. They actually have, you know, their own YouTube and follow them on Instagram, follow them on, you know, maybe they have Spotify or they have um, a SoundCloud. So Barry does have originals. So you're going to hear him and his originals. He's working on a lot of stuff now. So we're gonna talk about his journey, how he started on Twitch and um, how he became a freaking awesome guitarist. And he also sings. I love um, his rendition of Comfortably Numb. If you guys haven't seen that on his YouTube, definitely check it out. 
and yeah he does a lot of different stuff here on youtube on on youtube on twitch on but this twitch. <laughs> this will be on youtube too guys so if you guys are not following my youtube channel i have a lot of replays of all our friends all our guests here and you guys are like family like music and and everything here has been the way for us to really like just like forget a lot of the stuff and just come on stream and and watch live music because it, now it's not as as a thing right but anyways so how are you doing luna i'm i'm better my uh my lip is feeling a lot better um i'm not sore anymore and we're we're moving on up <laughs> <laughs> in, in our health that is I, I just started my workout uh routine this morning and i i almost threw up but uh <laughs> was, i heard I mean, no, I extra heard. strain on my body <laughs> yeah i mean who's starting them regimens now right like for for january but he's like by february people kind of like lack you're you're probably doing it better than everyone because you didn't start in january you actually started in february so maybe that's that's the the trick trick yourself to start in february because in january by the second week a lot of people um fail after that they're like okay i can't do this anymore <laughs> that's statistically that's a that's a fact being a, a fitness person myself so anyways let's see what you guys are, are oh eric making monies in the, in the chat welcome in um oh is reina in here reina is gonna be on the podcast soon this this month next week we have wendy harper we are in the month of love you know february so of course i had to find something extra sweet extra special and and beautiful and lovely and what's more beautiful than a harvest so next week we're gonna have a harvest um but before that we have an extra guest on the seventh which is um that's reina vandell and he's a drummer so stay tuned for that because we have a lot of great guests and then at the end of the the month i'm i think it's gonna happen i'm not sure because you guys know our guy two feet drums just had a baby yesterday so send your congratulations to two feet because he's a dad now and so he's scheduled for the 22nd of this month but we, we'll see you know we if i have to reschedule again we'll have to reschedule i mean if there's we'll been have to do it we'll Little have tooth. to do it <laughs> yeah but you know baby tooth comes first right mm -hmm. So there goes Reina. Reina is on the seventh of this week. So make sure to follow Reina Vandell, an amazing drummer here on Twitch. And we can't wait to have you this week. Um, all right, guys. So without further ado, I want. Are you guys ready for uh, for Dutch Rocker? He's gonna shred guys, it for us. You guys ready? I want to see. I want to see some emotes in chat. I want you guys to hype it up in chat because we have Let's hype it up the in amazing, there. beautiful man from holland with the perfect dome and the perfect skills to play dream theater because he's a big dream theater fan fanatic like luna so you know i know you guys are gonna be nerding out on dt and talking about that yeah pretty much yeah pretty much <laughs> that's gonna be the whole podcast <laughs> yes so without further ado guys i want to introduce you to the amazing guitarist
Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> that was fucking awesome. Oh my god. Nice. Wow, guys. Dutch Rocker in the house. All the way from Holland here in New York City. Yeah, New York City. Oh my god. Did that not just blow your your like like your mind? Like this guy could like play DT like nobody's business. Like, wow. He's like the prize of of Twitch right now. If if you're a DT fan, <laughs> like this is the guy that you're just like drooling over right now, right? Like I know I know Luna was like he's he's containing but himself. It, he's I don't, containing I don't, know if you, I don't know if you were actually watching me, but my chair was shaking and it wasn't because it was it was rocking out, I but did. I was playing double bass the entire time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> As it should be. Oh my god. I'm what? like uh, drumming on my table and like yeah 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 nigel <laughs> nigel let's came go, in let's go nigel mm -hmm. oh crap here we go nigel uh, we know no. our beloved uh, now. nigel came in with that raid welcome in oh, raiders let's go. Let's welcome go. raiders awesome to have you here and by the way yen and luna thank you so much for the warm welcome that is uh really really kind and it's good to see so many familiar faces and i saw the starting screen you got there with all the names it's quite an honor to be right in that 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 little screen right there it's an honor thank you for asking me for having me here yes everybody here is a big musical family on twitch it feels like everyone knows each other along the way and if they don't you guys get to meet everyone here and and get to know them and ask them questions and and also connect and if you want to do collabs if you want to do you know things like that hey you know like i think this is where we're gonna head to right now this year because last year was really something else where we had to adjust what we were doing watching entertaining ourselves and it was the time to be a freaking streamer last year so there there's pluses absolutely right it's like there was, it was pros crazy. and cons pros and cons yeah so how Absolutely. was how was it that you started on Twitch? Like, was it was it around that the the whole thing, or like when did you discover Twitch and start streaming music? And was it music that you streamed first? Yeah, it, um, I started streaming music. I was familiar with Twitch. I was in um, Ninja's community while he was getting big. You know, I was a big Fortnite fan, so I watched a lot of stuff. Oh, didn't react. I wasn't inside the chats or something. I just liked to watch it, you know, so I streamed it to the TV and just watched them playing games and had a blast doing that. It was a couple of years ago. And um, then a lockdown came last year or Corona came and um, I, li I worked in the um, in a music venue. So in the entertainment business business, wow, yeah. uh, both as um, like the no it's not the owner but it's like um i don't know how to call it in english um chat can probably help me out i saw mr sex will be there he was a co-worker for me a great technician by the way great musician as well he probably knows the word i'm looking for right now. <laughs> so now, let's, did let's you do sound engineering he, uh, or, or um... uh, no i wasn't the sound engineer no no no. we'll just we'll just let a check chat you probably hey, supervisor? know supervisor yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah supervisor exactly Telling people what supervisor. to do when to do it and how to do it like... yeah <laughs> exactly and uh, open up and close it and uh, that kind of stuff yeah so it was a venue uh, 850 people pretty big awesome experience but yeah I was there as um, I worked for my own so I went there did the job um, but yeah due to COVID uh, there was no work left so we couldn't play gigs anymore with my cover band or with my tribute band or with my regular regular band and i was like okay but i'm not the kind of person that just sits still you know there are a lot yeah. of friends uh, were like oh fuck, yeah the um, covid thing really uh really was bad event supervisor let's go eric that's awesome that's your an guy awesome eric got you exactly. he got you. you go put that on your resume <laughs> yes exactly yeah that's some good stuff so um no, they had the, uh, all my work was gone, like, in one day. And I was like, oh, okay, shit, what I'm going to do now? And um, accidentally, I came across Twitch streaming music all of a sudden, which is a pretty good thing. Uh, yeah. I'm very happy I found that. So I saw uh, um, French Stallion first, I believe, and I was looking at that guy, and I was like, oh, what is this game he's playing, you know? I don't, I've never even saw or heard about that game i knew guitar hero i knew i knew yeah. that that was that was great and i really dig that but i was like 
oh my God, that's a real guitar. What the fuck? <laughs> what is this? You know, this is good. So I figured, no, I was watching French Stanley and I was like, nah, yeah, but I can do that as well, you know? Mm -hmm. So I figured out everything and uh, how to set everything up. I was an absolute noob. I knew no one in the community. So I was figuring everything out myself and I was like, okay, uh, let's just dive into this. There are probably a little, uh, some clips from my first stream on Twitch. Um, which are pretty fun to watch back. Everyone's sitting here, right? In because uh, I'm home now. We have curfew, so for mm -hmm. the regular viewers, I'm in my in my natural habitat, you know, good stuff. And uh, I was sitting right there in the corner, playing um, in a very crappy cam and playing some rock speed. And I was like, okay, let's go, yay! Mm -hmm. And then my girl was like, uh, nah. We shouldn't do this here. <laughs> so it's like, okay, I need to find a spot to do this, you know? And uh, yeah, the, so from the one thing came another. And uh, that's actually how I started out on Twitch uh, last year, almost a year now. Yeah, crazy. Time flies. Oh, uh, yeah. So a year ago. So do you remember your actual anniversary where you went live? I have no clue. Oh, <laughs> See, guys bad, are usually right? bad with anniversaries. It's always you can, you us. Here, maybe I can find out for you. Um, is there like possible? a command? You yeah. Check that. Yeah, I, I can find out. As long, maybe. Let me see. Let me see if I can. It depends on the, the command. Oh, that would be. That would be. It's not, awesome. a, it's not a command. It's a website. Mm. I think it's called Twitch Tracker. And you you put the name of the streamer, and it'll. I probably won't be able to see your your stuff. You might be able to. So it, it, it's like a an analytic um chart and then it'll okay. show like the day and the months that you streamed so like well, you can go good. back and be like all right well i streamed that day that's my first stream to check that out <laughs> so it was sometime in march check that out um nick nick d24 is is he End like from march? the community is has he been following since the very beginning uh he's my moderator at the moment oh and, shout um, out yes. to the mods yes in yes, chat. yes great mods as well as eric by the way kitty girls probably hopping in later all my uh, all my most of my mods are here that's <laughs> very heartwarming yes i really like that uh, i see cranks regular viewer as well uh, but no nick was not there from the beginning i think he came in when jabez raided us Ooh, we had him um, in december was it in december i know i was there that was so good so cozy nice chat i really dig it it was so good yeah hey, but awesome. it's also because i consider uh, taylor a good friend for, of mine you know so i was like oh it's actually kind of awesome to uh, get to know him see like this other side of him if you know what i mean so yeah, yeah that, that was a very nice that was a very nice episode yeah, Cloud, yeah he was let's really go awesome. Cloud so it, i think the hey, from what up, i see here it's it's it was on a tuesday march 10th 2020. whoa march 10th 2020. there goes there it goes now you know when to celebrate dutchy now you march know march 10th everyone yeah, yeah, i got one follower <laughs> broadcast time <laughs> one hour Yay! and you average five viewers that's a great start five viewers on my first stream yep whoa that's not nice. bad at all nice most of us had yeah. like nobody we had to pretend we were doing like I a imagine. youtube video like hey guys yeah, like straight affiliate status right there already it was probably <laughs> something like um my parents wanted to check out what i was doing <laughs> this is what my brother maybe yes some good stuff yeah nice good of you to uh, i need to note that down uh, yeah, you got you got a peak uh back in september 13th he had gotten 1,029 followers that day. <gasps> yes, Whoa, that was... Um, that must have been a raid, right? That, uh, no, that was actually... Uh, that was my birthday, um, oh. September 13th. But what, that was also the Shredfest. Shredfest. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was Shredfest. Yeah, that was amazing. So March was... 10th, you say? That was uh, September 13th. The end, the first one was 10th. March 10th. Uh, there was one on the 10th and you got uh yeah about like 991 followers then awesome oh, yeah, the second day was a big day that's awesome guys yeah and you just yeah how far we have come exactly yes. i couldn't have done it with all the without all the beautiful people helping me out because it's uh, quite a lot um i'm not i'm not really a techie nerd um so I, it took a lot of time to figure everything out myself but there are so many beautiful people in here um, right now that helped me out a lot, which I'm really thankful for. So, yeah, 
It's all it about community. A, it's and quite a ride. Growing like like so it so it slowly started in March and then the lockdown happened. So it's like that's why when people say, "Oh, I had such a horrible year or whatever." I'm like, "But for us streamers, it was actually a boost in views because people were like watching stuff on TV or if they got yeah. their own like sick of Netflix. I mean, what's better than interacting with someone that's actually playing live music? Yes, exactly. I found the same uh, same thing and I was like, uh, I can't play with my band anymore. So, yeah. And to be honest, I've never played as much as I do now. So, it has definitely its ups. Yeah. That's amazing. So, you have a band. Do you think that, that, that uh, what you did um increased your ability to play like your your skills like enhanced a lot more since you started um no not exactly to be honest it's just um spending a lot of time playing guitar um which helps out that just helps out making hours you know but um yeah technical or something extra techniques that's not uh that's not the case no i just got better at side reading rocksmith that's a skill <laughs> as well right yeah <laughs> So what's what was one of the big milestones last year coming into this year that do you have those kind of milestones yes yes there is absolutely one uh, milestone i have to tell and scream out loud because i'm not gonna lie scream it <laughs> scream i it. never i never was able of uh, i never thought it was possible to do this kind of thing but the moment we did the collab with robson with bob and with uh chris that was definitely the the most fun thing i've done the last year yes oh robson baroli he's like my favorite yeah. bass player oh, on twitch absolutely. i had him on last lie. year and i think it was i think it was around when the lockdown yes. happened it was very early yeah. on last year i had robson exactly yeah and yeah so it was yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> we both love him so much. We want to say stuff yeah, about him. <laughs> exactly. You know, it's absolutely my favorite Twitch bass player. And I, I think people tend to underestimate what this guy is doing live. I mean, it's it's absolute crazy. Robson Baroli is 100% a bro. I'm not going to exactly. lie. Exactly. Yes. yes With Eric, such a big yes. heart and such an amazing, skillful bass player. Like Extremely he's... kind from the heart. Yes. It's like, holy crap. How is this combination even possible, you know? Right? <laughs> like, he's such a good person. I spend so much time with musicians, and I'm like, most of them are, are dicks, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's so humble. Uh, see, he's, he's so amazing, yes, yet so crazy. humble. It's in insane. It's insane. That's why we Absolutely. love him so much here. Around here, we're Absolutely. always like talking about him, like, "Oh, Robson, if you're not following him, <laughs> it's like." You and have he's to. going so well. I'm so proud of him. Me too. So happy for his progress. It's crazy. You want to see guys like that, like bros like that. Yes. You want to see them succeed and like blow up and do like big things here because they deserve it. Yeah. They, they they do so much for the community. He done a bunch of yeah. different collabs too exactly yeah yeah and that's his plus point as well he does uh he does all this all these collabs with everyone it's like even luna had a collab even, with him yeah luna had a collab but even uh, he it doesn't matter to him if you're like this big streamer uh with thousand views a stream or like you're a small streamer with averaging five uh, it doesn't yes. matter he just sings yeah let's go let's go bro <laughs> awesome yeah <laughs> yes, I yes. Dig it. Oh, that, that smile and that laugh that he has. It's just so awesome. Oh, this, this little chuckle that he, he does when he laughs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and he started to uh he started to sing along during his streams oh, and yeah. I absolutely love it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> And he's it's a big so good, Dream Theater yeah. fan, so you know absolutely. that's a big thing. That's uh, that's the most connective thing, I must admit, uh, between most of us, you know. We all I have a huge passion for dream theater somehow. Yeah. There's so many mm -hmm. people in there. Crazy. And I'm kind of proud to say I, I feel really like lucky and blessed that I can say now I had Dutch Rocker, I've had Dark Man, I've had Robson Baroli, Bob, the Daily Bob. He was also on the collab with you, right? So now yeah, I can exactly. say all all of you guys were Thomas. And Thomas, Thomas Frank. Um, yes. 
But like all you guys are huge Dream Theater fans, and it's like yeah. we we all have that in common, I guess. But when did you start getting really, really like into Dream Theater? Was that one of your biggest inspirations when you started playing guitar? No, no, not at all. Not a, it now is. It now is absolutely. Yeah. But no, I haven't heard about them. Yes, I've heard about them, but it was like um... rewind time. Let's let's hear it. What started you? I know you started playing really young, right? When did you start playing? Yeah, I started playing when I was nine. Yeah. Aww, so I started boy. the guitar when I was nine. Um, and I actually was into pop music back then, of course, which kid, what kid isn't. And um, when I got older, I got into the rap. And that was funny because when That's you like had Jeebus. Jealous Corner, he said the same thing. He was like, yeah, I was all rap kind of yes. dude, you know, and I was <laughs> Luna so too. Beautiful. Yeah, it's so funny. And that was like the high school period. That was all uh, like Eminem, 50 Cent, all that shit was great. I, yeah. really, I really loved it. And then uh, came my rock period, so to speak. And uh, yeah, that, that wasn't even when I noticed Dream Theater yet. Mm -hmm. It was uh, way later, I believe 2005, four, something like that. Hell, hello there. Good to see you. Um, so yeah, it was around that era, 04, 05, that I was like going to Grass Pop. And I was going to Grass Pop and they played this tent and there was the Systematic Chaos Tour. No, that, that came out in 06, so it must be later, which is good, but around that era, I don't remember exactly. Um, so the Systematic Chaos Tour and they played the tent at Grass Pop and I was like, what the hell is this? This is absolutely, I was like, poof, just went nuts. I'm not going to lie. And um, so that was kind of how I got into Dream Theater. So I watched that gig and I was blown away. And I went home and I checked more stuff out. And then I checked out Octavarium and I was like, nah, 24 minutes. Are you crazy? What are you doing, guys? <laughs> <laughs> well, live, I didn't even notice these songs were so long, Yeah, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, no, I was not ready for the for the huge prog symphonic stuff. So no, that shit didn't happen yet. But I got into the Systematic Chaos album, um, Constant Motion, of course, and Dark Eternal Night was 11 minutes, but it was all right. It was very mm -hmm. um, diverse, so I was okay with it, you know. And um, I skipped the whole in the presence of the enemies. Hello. I was just like single guy, Forsaken, Constant Motion, that kind of stuff. And I was like, oh, that's dope. And I wasn't ready for the big things yet. That came a couple of years uh, after that, to be honest. Uh, yeah, and since I've been hooked since. I've, I've never missed a concert here since then. Yeah. So what was your first concert then, ever? My first concert ever. That is, uh, <laughs> there was... Um, Around the same time that I started playing guitar, I think, uh, my parents worked for someone at a venue as well, uh, just uh, in between gig, it wasn't their job. And they went in there and they brought me and my brother with them. So we went to a concert called, from Bluff. Bluff is like a Dutch pop rock band, amazing band, great lyrics. Um, I freaking love, loved and lo still love them. Uh, but that was my first concert. Yeah, Bluff, Bluff in Amsterdam, uh, the Rai, I believe. Yeah. Wow. So, what what's one of the the main songs from Dream Theater that stuck in your head that you first heard and you learned it like from the beginning to end that you were like, I'm gonna learn this, and it was the one that you actually like nailed. Like which one? Um, so Andy James did a tutorial for uh, Lick Library. Andy James is now the guitar player for Five Finger Death Punch, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, and he was a solo guitar player, guitar teacher online. Great guy, um, great player, and I was really fascinated. So I bought that uh, Lick Library thing, and that contained a couple of songs. I believe it was As I Am. Pull Me Under, uh, Constant Motion, oh. uh, and Under a Glass Moon. Yeah, because that was the first one I really started to learn. 
Uh, so Under a Glass Moon was uh, the first one, I believe. Yeah. That's a good song. Uh, it's amazing, yes. And I actually saw that there's this video online on the tube um, from John Petrucci playing only that solo. And I, I came across that when I was younger and I was like, whoa. But I never dug into it. Actually, it just really came when I saw them at Grass Pop. Yeah, there was amazing stuff. Did you pick up any like Petrucci DVDs and like tutorial stuff on Petrucci? No, no nothing. No, <laughs> no, absolutely I remember nothing. Watching one of his clips of him showing how to play a certain lick, and he was like, Yeah, so it goes like this, right? He does it fast first. <laughs> right? <laughs> He's like, So this is the breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. like no one's gonna get that right away <laughs> no and then no, no, this no, is at no. full speed again <laughs> yes insane uh, what's your favorite yeah, dream guy. theater album out of all of them if you had to pick or put them in order oh that's that's a very hard question yeah. uh, actually it isn't scenes from a memory is my all-time favorite album yeah mine too. yeah scenes from a memory is uh i was like when i heard that unfortunately my first listen wasn't uh, from beginning to the to end, I just listened to separate numbers. But my God, what a ride! What a ride! That whole album. I still enjoy putting that up from beginning to end, having my whiskey, having my beer, and just listen to it. I can really enjoy it. Yeah, it's one of Pretty those so albums. I'll just play. I'll do a playthrough of the whole album because it's so good. Yes, yes. I'm actually planning a playthrough from that album as well when I do the 12 hour stream. Ooh, um, yes. It will be it's only it's exciting. only like an hour and yeah. fifteen, so that'll cover a good portion of your stream. <laughs> yes, exactly, right? I'm like, okay, but I don't want to play Rocksmith twelve hours. That's just too much. I did it last <laughs> time. I thought, no, 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 not again. I need to get my head fresh sometimes, you know? And uh so yeah, that's definitely on the program. Yeah. So I when is this twelve hour play. stream then? Twelve hours. It was supposed to be um last Friday, but Mm -hmm. Due to curfew, that wasn't possible. So uh, we will probably skip to after the curfew, which is end of February, probably. Yeah. Okay. So did he uh, do another lockdown in Holland? Yeah, it was our. Uh, yeah, we have a lockdown, but we didn't have a curfew before. So we mm. got a curfew two weeks ago or one one a week ago, and um, so we have to all be inside after nine o'clock mm. which is why i'm here and not in the studio right now yeah yeah <laughs> so i brought everything over i'm at my own habitat i'm I, I noticed eric saying how did you get him to play seated yeah that's a good question because there's no other option here yeah <laughs> so that's what it is yeah you're not you're not a seated kind of guy <laughs> not at all no and i was playing and i i'm i noticed that i'm not even <laughs> ready like okay how do i hold my hand i'm busy with that instead of playing you know um there's like this huge chair i'm sitting in so i'm like my elbow is constantly banging on the chair and i'm like no no no, no <laughs> that's very uncomfortable <laughs> do you um as a progressive rock guitarist do you usually play your guitar strapped high or or low no high Hi, uh, and it depends kind of um, um, with what band I'm playing with. If I'm playing Dream Theater, I play very high. Mm. If I'm playing with my cover band, um, it's a party band. Yeah, then it's as low as it can get because then you can do the crazy stuff and the, the flipping of the. Fun. So, yeah. No, uh, I'm not in the metal. But it's just <laughs> a whole, um, cover band. The, the flipping the guitar is kind of dope. Yeah. No, so, but for example, yeah, putting a GoPro the on there. And go stage diving while playing the solo for Sweet Child of Mine, for example. That kind of stuff. And you yeah, do the stance and you like do the and then you put your foot on the on the on, on the, the metal uh uh stand that's next to the speaker the, uh, yeah. or or on your mon monitor. Exactly. You can just grab your guitar and if it's very tight to your body, then it's just oh look, I played it down. But if you have it like very loose, it's like yeah, let's go. It gets f f so <laughs> much more energy, up. you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> one so of the good. things about Dutch Rocker that I really love is that he is so energetic, and when you go to his streams, you're gonna be smiling. Like I, I, I remember the last stream I went, and it was like a pretty sad day for me. But like you put a smile on my face. Like with your energy, with the way you're enthusiastic, and just you're just a fun-loving person to watch. 
So do you feel like is it, it what hypes you up when you go live? Do you do you have a ritual or do you have just like is it your community or is it like the songs that you have already set or is it just what is it that gives you that drive when you go live? Um, yeah, so I, when I a, a day a day in the life of Dutch, um, so mm. I wake up mm. and I start at two p.m. my time. I start streaming at two p.m. my time, two till five, um, and. Before that, I just wake up, get my coffee, a lot of coffee. I live on coffee. Oh, me too. Um, so I, <laughs> yeah, so I get my coffee and I do some editing stuff because I want to post the YouTube videos uh, at the end of the week. So I do that early Tuesday. We um, need we need details. What time do you get up? <laughs> 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. Yeah, 10 standard, okay. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. <laughs> but he's and, a night uh, yes. owl, so he goes to bed late, Yes, right? I'm a night owl, yes. Yeah. I'm, well, I'm mostly I'm playing games with Eric or Nick or uh, anyone for that matter um, <laughs> until 4 a.m. my time. So um, I don't need a lot of sleep, so that's all good. So I wake mm -hmm. up at 10 and um, I start working at 11, so to speak. And um, I edit this clip or a stream highlight or whatever I'm doing and want to put out the next week so i'm always trying to work a week up front and um then i go to my studio to my parents to my old room <laughs> let's go <laughs> and, let's go uh, i hop in there yeah then i get more coffee with my parents and chill a bit you know talk a bit and then i'm going to set everything up and then i actually like it to be silent mm -hmm. so um that's always how i prepare for a gig as well uh, i I'm very hyped and energetic, but like 10 minutes before stream starts, I'm like, I just want to be quiet, you know? Oh, we have another Raid Max. Welcome, oh, Raiders. Awesome to have you here. Very sweet. Let's go, guys. Yay! It's Max. Max A Drums. Max. Coming nice. out that raid. Thank you so much, Let's honey. Let's go. Let's go. We got Dutch Rocker here. You guys know him, right? You guys know him and love him. Welcome in, Raiders. Cheers, so you... everyone. Welcome. Cheers. Cheers at water. I know you guys are having beer. So what? what's the beer of choice? Yeah. And I Max. <laughs> Max was just... Weren't you in I the woods? A, like... I got a sour monkey. <laughs> nice. Sour monkey. How about you, Dutch? I'm having a Heineken standard or Hertog Jan. I mm. love Hertog Jan. Yeah. Max, Cheers. Max <laughs> was Max was in the. I I seen you were camping in like sixteen, like below zero weather or something insane like that. How did he had ice growing from his beard? <laughs> yes, I saw his. Oh my god, it was that was so fun to see him like do those kind of Insta stories. <laughs> How did your stream go? And welcome everyone coming in with with Max A Drums. If you guys don't know Max A Drums, he was also on the podcast. It was on in October. We dressed up as he dressed up as a fox. I dressed up as a lion. Yeah, he dressed up as Sonic the Hedgehog. That was amazing. It was so fun. Had a blast chilling. Thanks. Hope all is well here. Yes. Thank you so much for com for coming in with your peeps. Welcome in everyone. So Dutch Rocker is an amazing guitarist, musician, shredder here on Twitch. And he's super energetic, super fun, super sweet. And he's telling us how he started um, and how he ended up. You have an, an original band too. I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's called Open Fire. And um, yeah, let's see. We, uh, I mean, the band for quite a long time, to be honest. Uh, so. The story is they're from a, a little place near me like it's 45 minute drive and my mother used to work with the sister of the vocalist of the band still mm -hmm. makes sense yeah, yeah yeah so the my mother and her co-worker which was the sister of the vocalist they got really tired and um, they were dropping their old guitar player and they were looking for a new one these guys were like uh, mid 50s uh, no mid 40s so they're they're quite a bit older than me. That's just how I do it, though. I always laugh to hang out with older people <laughs> somehow. Yeah, it's me just too. What it is. You learn yeah, more. We have an old soul. We have an old soul. That's we just have old what souls. it is. Yeah, we do, yes. Barry. We do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, and they said, yeah, let's come over and uh, let's chill a bit. Let's talk. See how you are uh, into this, and let's jam a bit. 
and I was very inexperienced back then and still started my first year at the conservatory um, and was like, this is a pro band, you know, this guy, the drummer of the band is the best drummer I've ever played with, still is. And um, he's like a sound engineer, he mixes his, his own uh, label and mixing studio and so everything we did was recorded there. It was absolutely mind blowing. And this guy could play drums like no other. It was absolutely insane. So it was a pretty honor to be asked to join them, um, which worked. And um, yeah, that was around a long time ago, 10, 10 years ago, maybe 10 years ago. And the wow. last, yeah, last two years, we actually kind of stopped because we worked quite hard, but uh, yeah, the same band issues everyone has, you know, so um, a drummer felt like he was doing all by himself. I had the same and vocalists, you know, it's just, you know, how it goes in, with bands. And um, we actually messaged each other a month ago, like, ah, oh, after this shit is done, let's uh, let's rehearse, let's play some music again. And I'm like, yes, I, I, I can't wait, guys, because it's... It's so good. It's so good. And we have always such a blast playing Windy. together. So yeah, that's uh, that's going to happen again. We're going to play again. Um, but it's definitely something different than Dream Theater. I'm not going to lie. It's some old school classic rock. We uh, try to record it as well um, the same way. So pure, pretty raw. Uh, not much of mixing afterwards. So what you hear is literally almost how it was recorded. And that's something i really really like so what will you describe your original music then with your band what kind of genre yeah sound it's, uh, it's yeah classic rock i don't know yeah classic rock and i i'm very influenced by john petrucci so my mm. leads were kind of like john petrucci no nah, that's that's weird it were like me but you definitely really, hear the john asked. petrucci influence <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Could have sworn you played just like Van Halen. Van Halen. <laughs> yeah, Van Halen has like that crazy tapping style, and uh, yeah. I unfortunately don't. No, it's okay. It's okay. To each their own. <laughs> so, what are your top five guitarists that you would feel are your, you know, like biggest influences that you look up to or you loved growing up? <laughs> Barry Van Halen and Eddie Van Smeeden. Let's go. <laughs> You're rocking it. Ooh. <laughs> uh, the top five guitar players. That's a good question. I always, um, when someone asks me for like a top five or a top three, I'm like, okay, what are the guitar players that make me who I am myself as a player, you know? Um, so I started playing guitar due to Slash. Oh. I watched a clip of November Rain, and he was like in front of this church. Uh, yes! We just talked about this in the in the pre thing. Like everyone right? wants a shot like that. Everybody you know? wanted that. With everyone the wants a shot like that. And I noticed that <laughs> right in I'm front of the church. Go. Yes. Yes, in front of the church in that huge legendary empty scene. Desert, and mm. he was there. That that smoke popping out of between his hair. You couldn't see him. <laughs> it was so hot. And, yes. <laughs> And I with was his bro like, oh, and his hat and he's like nah. i need this i was like i need this give me <laughs> ah, more, you know? i know and that's where it, that's that's when it all happened yeah if it wasn't for slash or november rain i wouldn't be sitting here right now for no. real <laughs> for real i think a lot of people i mean that for me that's what it did it, i wanted to be like a female slash i mean you know i mean how, how many people yes. could really be slash but i mean he is, he is it was hot. like he's yes hot. it was he's hot just stuff hot. it was yeah, like hot stuff absolutely so yeah that the was slash. actually the reason yes slash and it's, so slash is a huge influence for me there has been a huge influence uh, for me and then uh, came an era where i was obsessed with santana and his music like the kind of jazzy and the fusion south american style mm -hmm. absolutely yeah i grew up with that too um, well, in the background he plays a lot with feel yeah exactly he's not a technical player you know he just he just knows how to play a tone and that yeah. tone goes straight to and he that's, just makes that's love that's to his guitar 
Exactly, exactly. And and John Petrucci is a different level, you know. He's he yeah, got the emotions as well, but he's a, he's very technical. He's a shredder. He got up. Oh my God! What? Another fucking raid. Let's go. <laughs> Let's yeah. fucking go. Yeah. I'm so honored. Yen. Oh my God! Thomas Wayne. Oh. We're bringing the love to you. <laughs> Thomas, Thomas, let's Wayne. go. Yes. Yes. Did someone say John Petrucci? Let's go. Yeah, yeah, John Thomas. Petrucci. <laughs> oh, we got we got we, so we many had, like, amazing. We like a whole in depth yeah. dream theater conversation going yes, on. Exactly. We, we were talking about you, Thomas. The... Was your ears buzzing? Because we were talking about you about dream yeah, theater you, yes. all the dream theater lovers are coming in right now yes thank you so <laughs> much honey thank you so much thomas frank for the raid yes. welcome in raiders welcome in it means a lot it really does it means a lot to us tonight we have dutch rocker and you guys know he's a huge dream theater fan he's an amazing guitarist just like thomas frank guys if you're not following thomas yes. frank shout out to thomas frank he's an amazing person and an, an amazing guitarist and person to follow here on twitch and he's been on the podcast oh, yeah. too. Oh my God, you guys, like so much. I'm, I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky and blessed to have so yeah. many amazing people on this show. It's really, really an honor. So yeah, it's real, but it's also an honor to be here because it's always a good time. And when I watch it, I always have a good time. So I yeah. think we all feel the same vibe. That's, that's very good. Nothing but love here, nothing but love. And we get to know each other more. And it's just a big community, a, a big family of um, friends and music. And so, it, yeah, last exactly. year it was just amazing because we all grew in different ways. We were like, okay, well, what are we going to do, right? So so yeah. right now, Barry here, okay, this this amazing man, um, Dutch Rocker, he's telling us about his original music, his band, and right now he's, he's talking about his five favorite guitar players. So, so far, yes. you have mentioned Slash. Slash. Yes, Slash and Santana. Santana. So we were talking about how Santana like hits you with playing one note, yeah. and then I said like Jump Twitch is very technical, blah 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 blah. blah. So Jump Twitch comes next, yes. Um, yeah. So after um, Santana, I got really into Pink Floyd. So David Gilmour, his uh, way of creating tones, yeah. his way of of sustain, his way of making love to that instrument, mm, has yes. always impacted me a lot. And so one of my all-time favorite tunes to play but to listen to as well is comfortably numb so uh. that was like okay what what i'm going to put online first you know and i was like of course it's going to be dream theater that's easy choice but what am i going <laughs> to do next mm -hmm. and i was like what do i enjoy playing the most and it's like the solo of comfortably numb yes. ladies and gentlemen mm. i, yeah, I that, was thinking things out of words every time and especially when i hear it live i seen just... david gilmore live um in madison square garden i was fifth row i was in the fifth row and i streamed oh it i know i God. shouldn't have but i did i streamed it <laughs> and i'm telling you like oh i was like i'm sorry babe, but i was saying it i mean we weren't together at the time but you know i was like i would still have his baby to this day like he's like yes like he was rocking it at his age I mean, yes. this was like, I think this was like five, six years ago that I saw him in Madison Square Garden. But yeah, man, oh my God. Yeah, that's what am I. If you, if, if you want to have just... David Gilmore. David <laughs> not Gilmore? now, not now. <laughs> not now. Baby. I mean, I would go for it. I mean, as long as he's paying the child support, you know. Oh no. <laughs> he's he's going to pay the roof over your head. Just go for it. <laughs> I was streaming. I was streaming. And I, I remember seeing that in chat. I was like, I was still have his baby so. <laughs> But that was like that was a while ago. I mean, he's I don't know if he's 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 up there. He could be my dad for goodness sakes. But um, yes, that's one of mine. That's definitely one of mine because I'm a huge. My dad got me into Pink Floyd, and I went to see The yeah. Wall when they did like 2012, when they did the yes. whole thing, the tour. I, I cried. I cried. I like took my dad with, with snowy me. Snowy white, snowy mm. white on guitar. Holy yes. crap. Oh. Yes, and I, he did the whole movie too. Um, the, the, yeah, um, yeah, and so, so I went good. to the one so good. in um, Yankee Stadium, and they had re redone the whole stadium, and it was the new Yankee Stadium. Um, and I went, and they did the whole thing with the puppets, with the wall, with everything. I was like goosebumps, and me. Oh, I Crazy said. Crazy ride. I, I think the that big, was. Um, that has to be one Amherst? of my favorite. Yes, it was one of. I think I, I would say that that was one of my favorite concerts of all time. 
Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely agree. Yeah. I was like, I was, they played comfortably numb there. And I was like, okay, I can, I can, I can go in peace now. I'm okay. You know, I've experienced everything. <laughs> right. It was amazing. It was so um, uplifting as well. Some, something spiritual happened, if you know what I mean. Um, it was. So yeah, that there's going to there. There's a vibe there, and I can't put my finger on that. And and that's the most beautiful thing music can do for me. Mm. As you know, like I'm really big on like lighting and stuff. So like, when bands have like really good like lighting that goes with the music and the mood of the music itself, that just enhances the music even more. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, it definitely adds a lot of fun. And I know Pink Floyd good. is big with that. Yeah, they do such a good job. But they have eye for that, you know? They they not just play the music, they feel what they're doing. And, and they feel what people are feeling. So <laughs> that is a very important part, yeah. The energy flows. <laughs> Hell yes, absolutely, yeah. So David, so David Gilmore. Gilmore yes. is absolutely on my list. And um, then, of course, John Petrucci. Who else? John Petrucci is currently my hero. He's like right on top of everything. I love him. I love his playing. I love his tones. He, th there's absolutely nothing he can do wrong in my eyes. <laughs> but for that matter, I'm so uh, up. For, how do you call that? Like. I, I I don't even care what they're doing. Even if they fart through a microphone, I'm happy. <laughs> I, I don't even care. Yeah, so JP that's kind of best. that's kind of yeah. I'm I'm leveling it that way. Yeah, he can <laughs> he can absolutely just fuck everything up. It's all good. <laughs> the, he can I do no wrong him. in my eyes. No yeah, wrong. It's no. <laughs> and like no, he her. didn't pay that sour note. That was that was meant to be there. No. Yeah, <laughs> jazz, jazz. It was it was yeah. an imperfect perfection of it all. Yeah, it's like absolutely. the wrong solo for the wrong song, but it still worked out anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fast you don't even hear it, so it's all good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've always um, said I think I think uh, I don't know who was it Thomas or was it um, I forgot who it was that I I had mentioned this that I feel like uh, John Petrucci's um, practice regime, uh, he sits in front of a turkey and waits for it to gobble and mocks the turkey. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly what it is. That's actually a clip of um, uh, Opeth. Opeth acting like a dream theater. Like a joke. Oh, yeah. like a too, with joke. dream theater. You, you've seen them. You yeah, 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 yeah. It's like it, it's, it's so good. It's so it's funny. So good. It's so funny. Yeah, I really had to laugh, and it was like the whole fucking afternoon. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, that's definitely dream theater. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all arpeggios everywhere. <laughs> yeah, but the whole time, every day. Six but yeah, JP, hours. He, can, he can make it, his guitar sing nicely too, like on those softer tones and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Like, Spirit carries on. Um, yeah. Uh, what's the other one? Um, uh, Sacrifice Sons, like this, oh, the solo on Sacrifice Sons. That goes through, through the, through, the, uh, through the everything. Chill. It pierces right through me. Yeah. And every and, time. Uh, um, change of Seasons. Oh, yeah, that's that's beautiful the end as there. well. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I'm not gonna lie. One of my favorite John Petrucci solos is actually the one in Peruvian Skies, which isn't technical at all. It's a pretty easy solo, but it's so off. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> less is more. I love it. Yeah, he's awesome. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I can talk about John Petrucci the entire podcast. So <laughs> let's just go ahead. Well, yeah, I was on four, right? I was on four. Four, um, yeah, that was the fourth one. I need to, um, yeah. It was Slash. It was Santana. Santana. Um, David Gilmore. D David Gilmore. Yeah. And John, John Petrucci. John Petrucci. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think I must leave it with that. I can make up another guitar player for um, example, Eric Gillette, but he's quite fresh. I don't know him that long, but he's like the new John Petrucci. Hey, cat. Kitty. Hey, buddy. Kitty. He's like, yeah. I'm supposed to be laying down with you. <laughs> exactly. He's like, 
Yo, I want to go to bed with you. Yeah, because you guys, <laughs> you know that in Holland is like one o'clock or something in the morning, and he's yeah, here with us. Yeah. It's two fifteen. Oh my Let's god! Go. What? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for that's... for hours, it's even an hour later. It's all good. It's all good. That's insane. Nigel has a question for Kitty. Uh, oh no! Nigel, here we go. Here we go. What? What yes, is it? Yes, he loves me. Yes, he <laughs> loves to lay in my arms. Yes, Nigel, he loves it. Yes. <laughs> 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 oh 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 so yeah i'll keep it with these four okay. okay did you take lessons like in school and stuff like that like did you learn how to like read and stuff uh yes i took lessons i started out when i was nine with classical guitar for four years and then i wanted on uh, to move on to electric and um so after those four years i went two years electric i took a small break i was i was like 13. Uh, puberty uh, i can do it on my own blah 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 blah. tough guy you know how it goes yeah. and um i was practicing and learning myself to play trivium at first because that that was kind of the phase when i got into metal and i actually when mtv stills uh, <laughs> used to send out music videos <laughs> music television should do that but yeah when they did that there was this um what was it called headbangers no 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 uh rock zone it was called rock zone so this was this program called rock zone and it was on wednesday night from 12 to 1 and we stand uh, we, we instantly watched it from the very beginning until it was put off so, uh, with a couple of friends of mine and we were playing games like 12 to 1 it was mid midweek so we had to go to school the next day but it was like our gig yeah we were metal ads we want to see that and that's how i discovered trivium and um the first song that i heard by them was the gunshot back then i believe it was 06 around that era and um oh my god i was like talking to my friends i've never experienced that kind of music before and i was like listen to that bass how does he do that how does one do so fast bass with one foot that's impossible <laughs> only to figure out they have double bass pedals that apparently was a thing i didn't know of so yeah that was my introduction to metal music and i was like uh, i want to play that as well so i went and learned a gunshot by air which totally sucked and uh <laughs> moved on to the conservatory when i was 18 19 no 18 and um got lessons there again both in guitar as well as in bass and drums and keys and vocals so that was pretty awesome um during the conservati conservatory time um so yeah i had four years of extra lessons back then nice are we, do we have a clip or do we have a are we going to show a youtube clip of his did he did he send you one or i don't know what, what no it i don't have any uh youtube clips or videos uh, from what Both from stuff. early <clears throat> but you do have we a did, youtube we didn't ask any you you do have I, a youtube channel where I, you upload yes. stuff right yeah i do and so what's the latest some... one that you've uploaded uh the latest one is probably stream highlights yesterday or today tomorrow um, this morning so that's a schedule thing week. that it's is, a, is it yeah. every week that you do that that's cool yeah i tried to go live on tuesday wednesday and friday and i tried to post a video on uh thursday saturday and monday so does this year was it the same is it this year is this year's schedule the same as last year or are you switching it up because i know you you have a 12 hour stream at the end of this month but what's your normal schedule like yeah so i started out knowing nothing um i actually did a lot of weird stuff and schedule changes and time changes and i was like no i go in the evening no i go during day and blah 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 and i was like streaming six seven hours a day and i was like it started to make me unhappy at the moment so that was uh, i think about 
August, September? No, after September. Yeah, October probably. Mm -hmm. um, so October, I decided, I told everyone, I said, guys, I need some time off because I'm not feeling it, you know? It's just too much. Um, it's not growing the way I want. It's it's yeah. not going the way I want. So let's, I, I need some time off. And, and I think all the streamers recognized it. Um, there's always a point where you're like, no, this is going towards a, a burnout because yeah burnout is real it's a lot of work you know it's a lot of work a lot of effort and it's very um discouraging if you don't see the results you want to see um so that happened and and don't get me wrong i always loved it but i mean more like uh, the results as in after two hours of streaming the chat dies for example you know and but you I, have I'm, like the most energetic that like personality yeah. like i notice every time i go in there the chat is just going and flowing so th yeah. was it the, the the time change that made everything kind of like switch up the 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 audience like what what do you feel like it's more morning or nighttime that you feel more energetic or like you you have more of a of a crowd like your crowd yeah so i am <laughs> sorry getty <laughs> yeah I'm he's happy yeah. yes he's going to throw everything over here okay gonna paw over yes. things like <laughs> Please don't Thanks, touch Nick. the boxes don't touch the boxes okay <laughs> so um what was the question again yen sorry do you feel like when you switched up your the the time that you stream like at night or in the daytime um that it it switched up your crowd and what do you feel like gives gives the crowd more energy because you're energetic you're very entertaining so I would yeah, imagine it depends on the, the crowd or the time, right? That's always what I say. It, I say, um, yo, minion, come. <laughs> <laughs> it's not doable. Okay, yes. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, no worries. No, so I was, um, I really need that chat. I really need that chat to hype up because <clears throat> I can be energetic for three hours by myself. Mm -hmm. um, so when everyone is hyped and like active in chat and they're like enjoying it and I can see that they're enjoying it's it because cool. that's my only way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I decided to turn off all my um, numbers so I don't look at how many people are, are watching or how many people are following. I don't, I don't care anymore. I just want to have fun. And if I'm playing two hours and I notice the chat dies, then I'm like, ah, but they don't like it anymore. It's my only thing where I can see how it is being received, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that's that definitely changed a lot because I was used to streaming six to seven hours where like four hours was the, the chat was dead. And I mean, when I go hop in someone else's chat in a new channel and I see like the chat is dead, I'm skipping to the next one. That's just how it goes. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. You want to have this community feeling and have fun, you know? So that's a very important part. And when I went over and streamed for three hours, three and a half maybe, uh, but also instant, not, not longer than that. Um, you see that their energy is still flowing and I can keep keep it up for three hours and the chat doesn't die and that makes me extremely happy and that's how right. it should feel for me you know so yeah it changed a lot so from going to from six six hours to three was probably the best thing i've done yeah that's true what nigel said chat is the only reason a streamer should be concerned about not viewers or anything but chat is the yeah. only thing streamers yeah. should be responding. Yeah, because there could be like five people in chat, <laughs> but they're the like very chatty. And then you, yes. you're just like answering questions and it's like, or it could be like 40 people and it's like three people are really chatty and then everybody else is kind exactly. of just like lurking. Cause I lurk a lot cause I'm working and doing other stuff. Of so course, I just yeah. have, and music, music streams are the best cause you can have music in the background while you're doing things. Exactly. Yeah, going yeah, yeah. That's exactly. I what try it to is. hop around and like say hi and you know make like, show face, show that I'm supporting and I'm right. there. And, you know, yeah. Like I, I'm not like I'm not just like like we do things together and then I just drop you. You know, just that's yeah. it. Like, like we, don't, we, don't lose, we don't talk, but like I, I like to have that communication, that conversation and stuff at times. Yeah. And 
uh even even the smaller uh streamers like i'll pop in like the, like a couple of uh uh my friends and then i have like two viewers and i just i just hang out there for like an hour or so just, yeah. just to those get are the ones that go to support. the most too because you feel like they're starting off and you they get discouraged really quickly sometimes so and they're quiet nice. because yeah. no one's talking you yeah. know and, and it's very discouraging for them you don't want them to be discouraged so that you try to give them that sense of encouragement by just showing up and being like hey look exactly. you're on you know it means so. a lot yeah I'm, I'm a huge lurker as well i'm not gonna lie um especially in the bigger channels i watch chain in the evening or ha have him on for oh, music yeah, me too. a lot i'm not i'm not talking regularly in chat not at all um but i love looking at or watching him same goes with faceless clown when i'm working during the day um or after the stream he goes always he always goes from two till eight my time so i mostly start watching him at two and till i go to have dinner you know mm -hmm. and i always have him on the background while i do my music and that's amazing and in the in the morning i always mod for eric um what does he say still not a pro look no not as good <laughs> as you are no 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 no, no. <laughs> no that's absolutely true no in the morning i mod for eric so i do that while i edit my stuff for uh, for youtube and um that's actually one of the few channels i'm really active in uh, or try to be really active in mm -hmm um but for the rest i'm a huge lurker but those smaller number of viewers they care um yeah. i watched the tutorial by harris heller he he got he gave me extremely valuable information i'm not gonna lie but he also said like no you just have to keep talking if, even if there are zero yes. viewers you have to like talk if you're about making tactics a... about how you play about what you do and i would like come mm -hmm. on dude that's that's not possible you can talk to the fucking planet <laughs> what what? Unless unless you're doing content for like YouTube, right? So like you yeah. spend th that time, but you're not gonna talk for like four hours or three hours yeah. just for a YouTube video, you know? Exactly. <laughs> and YouTube especially videos are be with playing hours. music, it's mm -hmm. something different, you know? It's mm -hmm. just if I'm playing music for no one, why am I playing music? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Except for practicing myself, because that's kind of the thing with music that you just need your crowd to stay hyped that's yeah, they gotta celebrate you yeah. they gotta celebrate gaming me baby thing, music is another yeah. like gaming you Absolutely. can you can monologue you're playing but like music you can't really do much you're you're playing music and that's it like we don't you're not gonna talk while you're playing music you know well yeah. the thing about <laughs> yes, exactly the thing about that so, is yeah, like requests too like if yeah. nobody's putting in requests like you can have a bunch of people just like listening right and then there's like okay request is kind of empty uh, but queues, yeah there's like 25 30 people but nobody's really requesting so what do you do so you have like yeah like luna does he has like a a side of um a list of stuff that he just knows right away this is a bop or whatever and yeah. and stuff like that right i got like a backup playlist or or i have like um like a, a drive full of different songs i just load up the hype but, um, songs mm -hmm. but yeah like like if, yeah that's it's it's tough when you don't have people just putting in uh putting in requests and then you're left with nothing if you don't know or have things set up prior to that yeah yeah, yeah yeah i feel that do you yeah, have that that's, that's also a hard part um i would love to there are a lot of requests i don't personally enjoy if okay. you know what i mean okay so what do you um, do yeah, <laughs> what do you do i just I play them you but play i'm them? like why why am i playing them you just know ban them it's like <laughs> ban, ban the songs yeah. Yeah, sorry that doesn't go <laughs> on this list anymore okay we took it out <laughs> oh you can have a disclaimer yeah, you can have a i mean it's your I channel can, you can have a disclaimer like yeah, i can agree right. to not play your song and you can't get mad <laughs> but if you're like um okay I <laughs> no, what do you think? Request. <laughs> let's go you know and and they're like oh yeah can you play cannibal corpse and i'm like yeah oh i hate playing cannibal corpse i'm no, not gonna no. lie i hate playing cannibal corpse. I FYI, don't like guys, it. listen <laughs> no. don't request that in very stream <laughs> Yeah, that's oh why I say, like, I, I play metal music, <laughs> but I don't play metal music, you know, like, there's, there's yeah. a fine line of metal that I play. <laughs> exactly, that's exactly the thing, and I'd like, that. there they come, play with bleed. the cannibal <laughs> yeah. corpse and the hate grinder, and I don't know what 
Flash got a buckle. Well, I dig that one actually, but I, I skipped that one right band. away. I didn't I didn't know I didn't know what the band was until I heard the first like few seconds. I'm like, nope. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There's no well, way I have a hard phone. time. I have a hard time saying no to those requests. Yes, yeah. yes. I mean I I, I respect that. I think to. you have to respect a, a streamer and if like they feel like they can't play a song or they don't they're like, Look, you want me to play something that I'm good at. Don't give me some stuff that you're just gonna like. No, that's just cruel, right? So you'll, or you can you'll make say a meme it. out of it. Or make a meme out of it. Like, <laughs> like Thomas said, same for yes. me. There are some metal um, subgenres that I won't play. Mm -hmm. I think I would be like that too. Like, I mean, it's like, come on, you want to hear me play really well, the songs I enjoy, or are you gonna hear me like, or watch me play something that I'm just gonna be like not into, right? So what do you yeah. do? That's tricky. Yes, exactly. It is tricky because uh, just as Crank says, um, I, I kind of agree. We, we talked about this, Jan. We talked about this uh, before we started. We want to please people, you know? Yeah, um, people pleaser. Kind of the same. Yeah. And um, I don't want to bash someone's um, taste Musical in music because yeah. everyone, everyone loves different kinds of music and I respect mm -hmm. that. Right. I just might not enjoy the same kind of music, <laughs> which is okay as well. Yeah. Um, but I'm like, okay, I say, I take requests. Hey, then I must take cannibal corpse as well, if you know what I mean. And on the other end, it's like three minutes. So who cares? Right. Okay. Okay. So tell or us right now, wrong? tell us right now the secrets. What do you not want to play? Maybe somebody's, maybe somebody's hearing you and it's like, okay. Or, <laughs> or it might be Jack. No, no. It's like, or, or maybe <laughs> Nigel would just take notes and say, okay, he doesn't want me to request this. I'm going to request yes. this next time. I must not say anything because Nigel is here. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and it's like, Nigel, Nigel don't touch me there, okay? Nigel, be <laughs> nice. Be nice, Nigel. <laughs> of course. Also, we Good all Cup know you no, so Good well, Cup Nigel. comes in with the crazy requests. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> the Lou song, Thomas. Yes, I did. I did. Oh no! Wait, is that a bad thing? What is it? I don't Do want. Never mind. I don't want to know. It's don't... Nigel's jam. It's Nigel's jam. No, it's okay. No, I don't want to. No. Now that I mentioned, I don't need Nigel coming in and requesting. <laughs> Wait, Luna, you never heard the Lou song? No. No way, Nigel. What is wrong with you? Nigel doesn't doesn't he doesn't, he doesn't watch me as much anymore. Nigel. Oh damn! Nigel. Hold out, Nigel. Where's the love, Nigel? Where's the love? You must do the Lou song. That's <laughs> impossible. N Nigel, Nigel likes my stream more. <laughs> oh, I we love Nigel. Like no. no, so. Be happy, Luna. Be happy. I'm not gonna lie. It's, yeah, it's maybe it's a blessing in disguise. <laughs> That's almost as bad as like. <laughs> Getting called out for like people, like someone asked, like people ask me, like, do I get a lot of Dream Theater requests or do I get those requests oh where people yeah. say, like, play Bleed? And I'm like, I, I don't. Like, people don't come to my streams to request Dream Theater and I want that. <laughs> That's so crazy, yeah, I right? Feel that, man. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, 100%. I'm like, oh, yes, I love to play Comfortably Numb. Oh, man. Yeah. It was like last month when they was like, oh, yes, he likes Comfortably Numb. Let's request it. And I was like, yes, Comfortably Numb. Let's go. That was like, that was like, uh, awesome. Yen's, uh, <laughs> Uh, nephew came into the stream the other day and he was like yesterday uh, freebird i'm like oh you want me to play freebird okay i'll play freebird and he yes, thought he you, put it did you come to a point where you're happy to play freebird come on <laughs> let me show you what i could do and he was like no 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 i'm only kidding i'm like no you're not cybers. no but that's oh the God, freaking no, genius exactly. of it exactly holy shit that's the craziness of it all is that you guys are like above like the the norm of what people know that people could play so you guys are like up there and he's like don't request such a hard thing for them and you're like actually do it, do it. <laughs> i will say yes yes let's do the it. best like, feeling yes. is when someone requests dream theater and you nail it you know you're like yeah yeah like dream what theater you know. oh and the, then the whole chat goes oh skill check skill check and i'm like okay let's go 
and he fucking kills it. I can't it. wait. It's like it's like you put on a face where you're like, oh no, yeah. oh are you gonna do this uh, to me? Okay, really? you start playing right. it like. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the best. I'm not gonna lie. I love that. <laughs> I love that. I love that. And it's it's, it's like, like okay, now you gotta subscribe to me. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Yeah. So, uh, did you like it? Hit it. Hit it right now. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I love when it's when somebody bone. requests something and they think, yeah, he let's see how bad he's gonna bomb, and then you n annihilate it and destroy it and rip a new one, and then they're like, what? And, and then and then Luna goes something like that. It's something like, like that. That's something that was average. Was average. It wasn't, it wasn't entirely <laughs> accurate. But. I mean, it's something like that. Oh uh, yes. Right? Yes. Thomas knows. Thomas, Thomas knows. That? I didn't. <laughs> oh, what man. is a yeah. skill check? So what's what's the toughest Dream Theater song you know how to play? Like what's uh, or that you're um, still struggling with, but you can get like a good portion of it. Yeah, I was like um, when I started. Uh, no, I have to pronounce that differently. I was I told myself that whenever I'm able to play scenes from a memory in its entirety, I will start a Dream Theater tribute band. So I did learn nice. the, the full album. And I started the Dream Theater tribute band. Um, one of the hardest songs, actually, till date, from all the songs I've learned and, and studied and practiced is um, Beyond This Life. It's so good. And then especially that weird Frank Zappa vibe part. You know, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yes. Oh my god. It's so weird. <laughs> it's weird, but also so hard to play. Tight and good. It's it's mm -hmm. crazy. And another one that is really hard for me is a uh, constant motion. But it, I noticed. Oh my god, cat, come on. <laughs> I noticed um, that he still has issues playing that song live because there's like in this solo part you have this first thing da -da -na, da -la, da -la, da -la, that, that goes <laughs> all well tail. you know that's all good yeah the kitty cat is walking all over the place here um, so yeah and then he goes to the to the crazy sweeping part which I actually think is the easier part of all of it <laughs> maybe maybe you should all delete this part I think he recorded it slower than the original. But he pulls it yes. off live. No, he doesn't. No, no he doesn't. No, he just does. Oh, <laughs> damn. It's, it's oh, not damn. The same. It's to... not the same. It's not the that. same. Really? Because we watch a lot of it and we're like. for notes. And it's not the same. And he <laughs> just blurs it away with a lot of delay. A lot. Really? Yeah, there is a lot of that's like his style and i yeah. love it because you don't mm -hmm. hear the difference especially when you're there you don't need a difference but it's like <laughs> and it's all good but it's not it's it's not blue it's different yes it's different, different levels of turkiness there's a lot of turkeys in there <laughs> yes <laughs> a lot of turkeys in there yeah so but that's just a random guess mm -hmm. yes <laughs> I love him. Though. Have you ever you seen those you those YouTube that. videos where they take the um, the music right and they put like like janky guitar sounds as if that this is exactly what it would sound like if if it was like there was no audience. Yes. Right, and it sounds so bad, like like they're hitting sour <laughs> notes. <laughs> it's so good. Oh yes, uh, absolutely. So so do you guys in chat have any questions I, I forgot to tell you guys you guys can ask him questions because he's here you your moment right now is now to ask, ask me him. anything Nigel's banned from questions <laughs> Nigel. Nigel. <laughs> I'm only kidding <laughs> we love you Nigel yes we do we do so it's um, my bald bald friend you know it's my for bald every friend. guest that we have on our podcast we usually make custom emotes for them yeah we just and, started um, that mm, at the end that. of the uh the podcast we uh will deliver that custom emote to you for free so you have oh your man emote. so that you can use a lot whatever you it's want you such can put it a on good your emote channel. you can put it on your discord and mm -hmm. uh yeah you hear that nick let's go 
Yeah, put it in Discord. Use it as a as a bit as a bit um Where? emo if I you want. I have, I'll send the, the large file that I create for it, and you guys can put it. Oh, uh, that's so kind of you guys. So kind. There it goes. So let's go. And we yeah, oh well, my yeah, God. yeah, yeah. That's, you guys. that's the best. I love it. It's so so every guest is gonna have that. Right? Okay, so shall we shall we add this one instead of the current let's go? What what do you guys think? Goose, let's go. <laughs> I like your let's go. I think maybe that that could be like a I, I love your let let's go because it's so it pops yeah, it and pops. so nice. Yeah. But like that would be good for like a bit emo or like the Discord emotes that you can put in because ah, yes. like right because we'll you have add it. I yeah. know what we're gonna do, guys. We'll make it a tier three emote. Do you have a tier Let's three? Let's go. I have a tier three, but it sucks. Oh. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. Yes, this is the tier three emote right now. It sucks. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, it's it, an emblem. <laughs> It's, okay, now I get it. I get it now. Oh, okay, okay. It's, 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 I, I can't hide my feelings. Like my, I have that that face that express. You know how it is. I'm like, yeah, well, it's a little coin. It's a, it's. Well, that's the funny thing. The, the let's go we made is that little face, but it has let's okay. go on the face. <laughs> yeah. It's like oh, I get no. it. All right, it's. <laughs> It needs help. It needs help. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Who made that? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's a coin. <laughs> it's it's the berry currency. It's gonna be the new Bitcoin. Uh, yes. It's, 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 yes. That could be your crypto right there. Good stuff. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the berry coin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, so so why did you pick Dutch Rockers? Just like uh, you just instead of your awesome name, because you have an amazing like real name. Like, I mean, that sounds like a stage name as it is. Like B Barry Van Smith. I'm, I'm Barry Van Smith. Smith. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was um, so like I told you, I, I created my Twitch account years years ago, mm -hmm. and I've been using Dutch Rocker name. Um, as a gaming name from when I was a little boy. So uh, that just sticked with me through my life, and it still does. And that's why my, I, I think I created it in 2012, that account maybe. And I was like, okay, um, that's just what it is. I, it wasn't that I needed to give it a name for when I started streaming, but it's just Dutch Rocker. It stayed that Dutch Rocker my entire life but i must uh, i must admit i'm thinking about changing it up because dutch rockers is kind of like nah you know <laughs> it's kind of nah yeah, i mean i don't know i like your real name to be honest i think it's just it's swaggy it sounds like mm, like barry you know like barry <laughs> man i don't know i just yeah, barry. Yeah. Get that berry white in there. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I like yeah, I like that's your that's name. Right. I like your actual yeah, name. Barry Vance. Yeah, who knows? Maybe uh maybe we'll change it up anytime. Yeah. B BVS. BVS. <laughs> abbreviating. That's, that's you abbreviate my own everything. Company. It's like BVS music. That that's just go. what it is. Yeah. yeah Wait. So you BVS do have music? That's the. Uh, so is that what you do like now for like do you do a lot of stuff behind the scenes for them like with the what do you mean I, I guess i don't even know what i'm asking i'm asking like what is it that you do other than twitch you don't have to answer that but you did say something oh, yes. about venues that you did uh, like um host productions on in venues and things like that yeah i was um, a production manager at a venue but due to covid um and it, that's a long story i can tell it in short version um i worked there for 12 years started as um um uh, shit how do you call it in english guys i started as someone who picked up all the glasses from the cloud crowd if you know what i mean mm -hmm. a runner i started out as a runner yeah um then i made a step to the bar i went on um when i was in school i went to work there on the office and uh, internship 
and then I got to become a manager for the productions. And after that, I was head of booze and food, um, which was pretty awesome. It was pretty awesome job. But um, yeah, so you a went lot up. of stuff. A lot of stuff happened with the uh, old boss, and I was really tight with the old boss. And um, yeah, shit wasn't getting better. So when the lockdown happened, that was actually my little push to say, um, "I'm I'm done." I'm, I'm not going there anymore. Yeah. Like I'm actually, done. you know uh, what? Yeah, it was it was so hard, and I, I worked my ass off. I gave everything I had. I went into a burnout. Went went nuts, and I was like, no, I'm not gonna do it again. I'm not gonna do it. So um, yeah, the um, COVID period actually got me there to to that extra push to to quit that job. So currently, um, this is all I've got. Yeah. I'm a Twitch streamer, and whenever we're able to play with a band again, I have that as well. But uh, that will take some time from now. So we're gonna get to hear something original tonight. <coughs> um, live, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I haven't. I haven't set that up, but um, maybe who knows? Who knows? Uh, a little taste. Am a little I able taste. To fix me? that. Hmm. I Nigel think you're. you're you, Okay, well, what did Nigel say? Speed. What did he ask? Speed. Nigel. Nigel says, I already know the answer for this question, but asking again because times change and people too. Uh, any plans to play live music without Rocksmith and produce originals? Absolutely. Yeah, that's definitely on my list for 21. Um, Rocksmith is actually, I use it as a tool to, um, how do you call it? I want to be, I want to be able to, play or perform more songs than I know from the top of my head and Rocksmith helps me to do that mm -hmm. so when I play Rocksmith it's called a Rocksmith stream um, yeah you have Rocksmith streams and you have Rocksmith streams if you know what I mean so mm -hmm. um, you can play the game like you're playing Guitar Hero I think a lot of streamers are doing that which is totally awesome I love looking at that uh, but you also have the musicians. Uh, for example, Joker, the anarchist, is the best, the best Rocksmith player I've experienced in my entire life. But I don't think he's able to play a song from the top of his head. And that's that's a difference. Oh, wow. And I'm vice versa. I'm not the best Rocksmith streamer or player, um, but I love to make music. Mm -hmm. Makes sense, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Um, yeah so it's uh, yeah it's it's actually a tool that makes me able to perform more songs than i know so to speak yeah mm -hmm. so what's the next song then or that you have planned for us to let us indulge in your awesomeness because i know that last song he played metropolis we he opened up so that's a big song yes to I annihilate did open up Mm -hmm. He did. He really mm -hmm. killed that. Thomas, you missed it. <laughs> yeah, yes, Thomas, you missed it. No, it's all good. It's all good. Um, so I'm planning to play The Spirit Carries On when, anytime. And um, so what I've done for this especially is like, um, since I were in curfew, I can't go home anymore. So I forgot my MIDI keyboard. So I was like, okay, but how am I going to play live then? So I spent the entire evening to MIDI set up uh, a MIDI track, if you know what I mean. Um, so it changes patch automatically in the song, mm -hmm. which is an amazing find. I'm really happy that I found that function right there. So it now when I play that song, you can hear it in the uh, Spirit Carries On. When I play that, it just switches tone automatically. I don't have to press any button. Uh, so you I just set that up effects. for that song. Yeah. Okay. Um, so uh, yeah, when you ask me to play like any other song, I can play a lot of songs, which is good, but I have to manually switch tones, and I don't mm -hmm. know if I'm able to do that while playing guitar. <laughs> so we have to find out. But uh, I, whatever you want, guys, whatever you want. Well, we don't. Well, that okay. We're saving that for the end. So right now, um, is there any questions in stream to ask Barry? Because I'm gonna ask him the twelve songs of the soundtrack of his life 
and that one's either hard or easy. And I know you said that you kind of in the back of your head, like no, it's you know, floating somewhere. Yes. Like loading. Here's a question. <laughs> what about um, the question of uh, further collaborations with other streamers? Like, who is the other uh, yes. groups of people that you want to collaborate with? Great oh question. There's one guy on my list I really love to work with, who is a streamer as well. Um, I would love, I would love, absolutely love to work with Dan. I love Dan. I love his voice. I think he's the best singer on Twitch right now. Uh, I just, it, when I ever, when ever, Dan is the guy from Tesseract, by the way, for those oh, okay, who okay. don't know. Um, he streams, he streams as well. And um, he's, he streams his vocal sessions, his practice sessions, but also his recording se sessions. And he has a range, he has the emotion I'm looking for, you know? And so mm -hmm. it's, if I have to pick one person on Twitch, which I really want to work with, it's Dan, 100%. Mm -hmm. yeah. I uh, saw him uh, sing a song called um, Tourniquet. If you're able to check it out on his live stream, I believe it's on YouTube as well. You won't, you won't, it, it's, the it's whole like band what streams? David Gilmore does with, uh, with a guitar. He does that with his voice for me, at least. Yeah. Hmm. I, know, I know the drummer streams. Yeah. Jay streams as well. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Um, great, great drummer as well. I would, of course, I would love to work with a lot of people. I'm not going to lie. We want to do the same collab with Chris and Robson again and Bob, of course. Uh, there are a lot of other people I'd love to work with or do um, content with. Eric and I are going, probably going to do a cover for YouTube. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of people I would love to do something with. Uh, I know Clown, Faceless Clown, uh, writes on originals as well. I'd love to do something like that with him, uh, but I'd love to do something with anyone for that matter. I just love to play music with people. That's just that's just what I absolutely love. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah, because Robson did did do a couple of covers with other Dream Theater um, bands. Yeah. So he's like everybody wants a piece of. Of Robson, I think, mm -hmm. but I, I, hey. as who else? Who else is another person that um? It's just there's so many, there's so many that, but but oh, Procraft is the. Another, I was just gonna um, say Procraft, yes, Procraft's yeah. another one. Amazing, he has a beautiful voice. He's like, had a great voice. He, yeah, he could definitely yeah, that... do everything, like with sounding beautiful and then sound, you know, and then growling really well. He's pretty skilled. He's a very talented and also a very, that's the same word we talked about, just like Robson. He's a very kind guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. I really love that. Yeah. I really love that. I really love I like his doggies. His dog. Oh, the, the <laughs> yeah, little yeah, hot dog. Dogs. Oh, my God. That was so yeah. cute. Yeah, he was on in um in uh, October. He was on the podcast and we dressed up. He dressed up like Han Solo and we dressed up like <laughs> the Adams family. And it was funny because his name is Adam. So I was like, oh, mm -hmm. it, it wasn't planned. It just mm -hmm. happened. And he was so, it's he happened. is very sweet. He is like, I only invite people that I truly would want to be friends with them in like real life, you know, like people that I connect with and I feel like I Absolutely, enjoy yeah. like on a personal level too. So that's really Absolutely. cool when you see people that come on and they're like, oh, I love that person that was on. I'm like, you guys should like, you know, and, and I, I didn't really promote it, but on my discord, if you guys are not following my discord, I do have like a a twitch musician streamers classified type I noticed, of thing yeah so if anybody wants to like collab with anyone or shoot like like a a message of who they would want to or what their influences are it's kind of like a classified for like twitch musicians if they want you never mm -hmm. know if anybody that was on the podcast is looking for like a guitarist or a drummer or a singer or someone that plays like next week next on monday we have a harpist she's she has beautiful like streams of harps <laughs> I mean, there's oh, you, you never dope. know. Like, there's people that like strings in their in their um songs, or like a beautiful harpist or something. Yeah, cinematic music and stuff. So, like, that's that's like some cool things I would like to incorporate in music as well. Yeah, I so, feel that a hundred percent. Yeah. So you never know, you know, who will be somebody that you'll be like, oh, I didn't even know there was a person that that played harp or like me. I love the the hand drums 
and you know the zen music too it's like a fusion of mm-hmm. different things you know but that's exactly, something fun yeah. collabs are definitely the way to go you know definitely absolutely and i think it's the future of twitch to be it honest is. i think mm-hmm. um, collabing especially in this time uh, what we did with robson and chris and bob i think that is that is what people want and, yeah um they just want to experience that band feeling again um yeah but live. not only that you can take it a step further too so like you're getting affiliated with a bunch of other musicians here on twitch and you're getting the opportunity to play with one another who's to say that you guys can't just bounce tracks back and forward and create a single original song yeah and, exactly and like dmca free you know and and just have twitch artists just create music together and just launch music yeah it's it's that there are so many options um and i think we as streamers we tend to pay too much attention to our own channel because um, that's what we do and of course um but i mean with the guys we had a this discord group and we're talking for like six months and oh yeah we should do it again soon that's six months ago mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> we, we do need to do it again soon you know but we have to be like okay let's do it let's do it we got this and it's good and everyone loves it uh, yes i mean look let's, at thomas let's thomas invest has kappa kappa that's a that's an actual band, kappa, a Twitch kappa. band. That's, that's a perfect that's example amazing that's how I got on Max as well as as Matt Getty, and I was like, "Holy shit, what is mm-hmm. happening here?" And at, when I saw that first, I was, "Is this life? What the? F- this is life, guys. This is the future. You right, can now right. play with American while I'm in Europe, and we I have an that. Asian vocalist. And what the hell is going <laughs> on? What a, what a time to live in! I mean, come on, that's that's insane." Fucking awesome. I love that. I, I'm telling broke, you. They broke the walls of originality and creativity there. <laughs> Absolutely. The the limits are long gone. You can do anything you want. You can make anything happen. And it's amazing. I love it. Here's a question from uh, Nick D. Um, question for Barry. How did you break out of the cycle learners uh, get stuck in when learning guitar progress, uh, progressing? Like when you find yourself just constantly repeating the same riffs, uh, you know, but you're never learning anything new. Um, that's a good question. Um, whenever someone comes in chat or I speak to someone or I used to give, uh, give lessons as well. So whenever someone was like, okay, I want to play guitar, I was like, okay, that's cool. But do you want to spend time playing and learning guitar? Do you find it fun to really learn, you know? Because that is with instruments the case. You need to learn it. You can't play through the fire and flames after one week. You can't do it. <laughs> yeah, and I know you want it. I want it as well, but I can do it as well. It's a constant learning project. And um, once you're like, okay, I don't want to learn, then you have to find a way to change that mindset and uh, make it fun for yourself to study and to learn guitar um i told people a lot of time since i've gone into the dream theater tribute band i've had like a deadline okay we're gonna play metropolis in two weeks okay yeah start and learn metropolis in two weeks it's crazy i'm not gonna lie yeah um so you spend hours on a day practicing one bar hours i'm not gonna lie guys hours on two bars until you get it perfect and that's your progress and and if you don't enjoy doing that you have to find a way to enjoy doing that if that makes sense it's a constant grind and it will never stop well said speaking of grinds what is your um long-term goals for this year my long-term goals for this year for twitch um twitch related yeah Mm -hmm. okay so um i would love i would love myself to go for partner the end for uh yeah for the end of the year by the end of the year yeah yeah it's a high goal i know that it's a high goal and um, maybe i won't make it maybe i will i don't know but uh that is my goal yeah i think if you do it right you'll get it 
It's really cool. I hope so. It's a, it, it's it like um, I want to I want to push the limit. I can say okay, maybe we go for three k followers, which is awesome as well. I really like that. Um, but let's push it a bit and let's. I, I want to get myself motivated to work extra hard, if you know what I mean. So it's not only Twitch anymore, it's also the YouTube, it's the editing, it's the social media, it's the finance, it's all the the parts. It's like running a mini business right now. It feels mm -hmm. like that. Um, but I have so much fun doing that. I have so much fun um, getting up on Monday and like going into my After Effects course, uh, learning new stuff, um, animating stuff, and go like, okay, I'm going to put out this cover in four weeks. And when I do that, I want to have this, this, this animated in, and that's that's so cool. And it's the same like with music. You need to want to learn more every time because it never stops. And the same goes for this. So I might not be a partner, but if I have like um, four very awesome covers on YouTube, I'm pretty happy as well, you know. So yeah. I say you gotta it's, love it's, the process. Yeah, it's it's. If you don't it's, love the process, you're not gonna go exactly. anywhere. It's exactly about the process and not uh, necessarily about the end goal. So yeah, my goal is to become Twitch partner. I would love that, but I would love it even more if I enjoy the process going towards that. Yeah, we can all see it. You have you have it. There's there's a lot of um, a lot of potential. You have a lot of like great following and a lot of good viewers and people are are very uh, supportive so you know just yes. keep doing what you're doing and i'm pretty sure you'll get that uh that partnership oh just... eventually absolutely i believe that sooner well. or later <laughs> absolutely and if it doesn't happen this year i don't even mind as well you know it's um as long as i enjoy doing what i do right now i'm a happy person and i do enjoy what i do now i have found a mode where i'm happy with what I'm doing, I, I I believe I have found a mode where um, the people I got to know through Twitch are happy with what I'm doing. I think they like it more that I stream three hours instead of seven. Mm -hmm. um, I think they like it more that I put some cover and different content on YouTube than before because I didn't do that. I just played Rocksmith. It's different. And I was talking with my mods and my mods are... My backbone, I'm not gonna lie, I have a lot to thank uh, for. And I was like, guys, what do, you, what, what do you want to see, you know? And they were like, well, Barry, you know what it is? I think you're more than just that hype Rocksmith guy and you have to embrace that and work with that. So oh, I yeah. did, and uh, that's, where we are. that's where we're at now, yeah. Yeah, because you have days in between your streams to make those covers that are going to go on YouTube or you're going to have like those moments where you're like, I have an idea, I want to execute it and make it happen. But if you're streaming every day for like seven hours or six hours, you're not going to have time to do those things. And also burnout is real. So having those moments yeah. where you can reflect and create other content for YouTube or anything else or personal yes. you know like actual preference maybe you want to have those days in between so you know oh wow yes, exactly what's up <laughs> thank you for that a tier Luna, three let's go let's go tier, tier three, three. yeah let's have that hang in there for a little bit i'm like i need to get this out of there <laughs> you need to do this you need to do this yes i can out. imagine so yeah it's um Oh, Thomas it's got hard, a question. But, yeah? Do you have any plans in case the DMCA hammers start falling? Do I have plans? Um, it's hard. I do have plans, but it will uh, be a total different vibe for the stream. It will... Um, re it will... Yeah. I don't think the people who are in the stream right now will like what I will be doing then. If you know what I mean, uh, I won't be playing requests anymore. I can play um, commercial songs or uh, known songs. So, yeah, it will probably be writing streams and making own music, which is on my list for this year as well. Creating my own songs. Um, th that would be dope. Yeah, I I'm not going to lie. I really music. enjoy doing that. And I'm probably going to do that anyway. Uh, maybe not on stream, but 
I am going to do it. And once we have the DMCA stuff coming in, like for real, you mm -hmm. know, then it's like I'm probably going to stream recording that stuff, writing that stuff, um, taking people with me in that process. Maybe they help me out, give me some advice like Dutch, maybe you should go for this sound or um, try this lick, try these notes. And I'm like, yes, yes. And then you get like this community songs and oh my God, I get goosebumps while talking about it. I like wow. imagine yeah. writing a song with your community. How awesome is that? Yeah, it's beautiful. I can't wait. Yeah. Yeah, there are always options and I can't wait. I can't wait. Yes, I'm, I'm so excited for this year as well. Well, it looks like you're, everyone in your community is backing you up. And I know your originals are going to be really amazing because, I mean, you're, all your influences are pretty much rock gods. And you can annihilate all of those <laughs> songs that I've seen you play. So I can just imagine with all those amazing influences, you're going to be just soaring. And I think, yeah, November, maybe make, make it like November. Like give yourself time from like, some people have to reapply too if they don't get it partnered right away. But like November to like March, like give that. But I think community, though, they will like push you into partner. And there's a lot of people yes. like in Max's community, he even has it on his Discord. Like if you're trying to push for partner, it's like he supports a lot of people in the community that way too. Yeah. And that's a that's beautiful, beautiful thing. Yeah, he's amazing. And so like, I don't you'll... think I'm going to push for partner, though. I don't think I want to. OK, guys, um, this is it. It would mean a lot. I, I don't I just I will we'll just see how it goes. Maybe I like will naturally. push for partner and like let everyone know, OK, I'm doing this push. Um, it's going to be very stressful, but please help me out, you know. But then it's such a thing as well, which yeah. will screw with my head, if you know what I mean. So once you do that partner push, and you're like uh, in everyone's oh please can you help me out and you apply for partner and then it's like no you d it will screw i think it will screw with me makes yeah. sense yeah 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 so let it happen organically that's what exactly. i would feel so, yeah 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 i think i'm i think i'm going that way yeah yeah and then it won't feel pushed and you won't feel stressed you'll get there exactly i know you will yes just just do what we do what we love if I enjoy it, people enjoy it. If I don't enjoy it, people don't enjoy it as well. You know, the, yeah, the, the energy kind like of feeds. golden rule. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. I'll go with the flow. I love to do what I do and I love to have some fun and um, I love to collab and I love to do my YouTube content right now. And it's it's been a crazy ride and I'm enjoying every second of it. And it's crazy. I love it. I love being on Twitch. I love getting to know everyone um around the world because that is what still blows my mind to see people from canada from america from new zealand from indonesia from iran and it's crazy it still blows my mind it's amazing it's crazy it's amazing yeah well, next time they open up amazing. twitch on we're, we're all gonna meet up and uh we're gonna right. party <laughs> uh, that was the first thing like okay holy crap when that is happening twitchcon oh, i'm gonna hug everyone i so yeah. want i so want to go to amsterdam we COVID were we were not, down yes. we were yes. down me and luna were down to go to the amsterdam one we were like yeah, yeah let's really make go. it happen but yeah everything yeah happened. but we did go to the 2019 yeah. um twitch con and it was so fun i i really enjoyed it i was i was actually I pushing him to like fun. meet people i was like i think we should go to that meetup and then he's like i don't know i was like i'm i'm like the one that's like the social butterfly like i want to go everywhere but like he was more like, no, I want it to happen organically. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I don't know. Like, I, I don't, I don't like going up to people that I don't know already and be no, like, no, not going hey. up to people, but just <laughs> mingle and like, I mean, I, I get approached, so it's different for a girl, I guess. Like, yeah, yeah, you I know. Think so as well, I'm more like, I'm more with Luna on this. I'm like, okay, no, 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 I just go to <laughs> those I really know. Yeah, I'm not going to random people. I don't I'll know. watch. Maybe I know them, but they don't know He'll me. Watch. That's yeah, that's awkward. <laughs> but watch, that's. Yeah. I think it's good. Yes. I think it's good because it's funny. <laughs> like on stream, you would think he's the one that's more like loud and like that. But in person, he's so not like that. He's so like reserved and quiet yeah. and stuff. 
Well, I mean, yeah, on stream, you have to have to push that energy out because, like, you're an entertainer. You got to be entertaining. I mean, when you're when you're out and out and about, it's like, all right, well, I'm not on camera, so I don't have to be like extra, you know? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I can kind of relax a little that. bit and and be a little bit more myself. Because if I'm my, if I am myself while I'm live, no one will want to watch me. <laughs> yes, I'm like that's the that's same true. though. I'm the same you, in person, right? Yeah. Wouldn't you agree? You I'm actually the same, the same. Person, right? I am. I'm the same. If you meet me, I'm yeah, you're, just. You're the same. You're the same in person as you are live, because like you're you're very energetic. And I am too, to an extent. But I'm like, a teacher. Me, Maybe that's yeah. why. Because yeah. when you're in a person, teacher. But that's it. Yeah. Once you get to know you, and yeah. I have the same thing. They I'm not going to go to random people <laughs> and like, oh yes, let's go. No, 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 no. Not my cup of tea. No, no I'm not like you that get either. To know me? Oh yes, I'm down. Yeah can be as goofy as you want yeah 100 percent. yeah i mean a couple of beers i'm a social butterfly <laughs> that's not a good it thing though helps. that's I'm not, not a good lie. thing yes there's there's that's what i'm saying that's not a good answer though because you shouldn't <laughs> need some alcohol to be yourself like or to be like someone that wants to mingle as an artist you shouldn't have no, that to, to alter yourself loose, to make it easier yeah it's to make it easier yeah it's to loosen up your your mental uh, strength. exactly yeah you know because like it's it's harder when you're obviously when you're not when you're sober it's harder for people like me and i, I guess dutch as well i don't know if you, you you experience this but it's harder for like us for, for in, in person to really open up and, and and just go out of our limits you know without yeah. having something that's just going to open up the the gates for us you know exactly and, and it's it's not like yeah you don't get plastered you know because then you're gonna be stupid when and you then do it. yes <laughs> no because when i hear I, uh, that that's what yeah. i've seen i've seen and then the next day they're like oh i was acting so like no don't be yeah, that person uh, yeah you don't want to get plastered you want to just just enough like just so that you can you can feel okay you feel comfortable you can still be coherent you can still like chat exactly. and stuff like i have one beer and I'm talking more than I usually am. So I've, I've, I've seen little, him. I've seen him drunk, loose, guys. You know? No, I. Like you're not that stiff. Um, I'm the same. I mean, when I'm going to like a birthday from someone only my girlfriend knows, I'm like this quiet little mouse sitting in the corner, and I, I want to go underneath the ground. <laughs> I want to go there. I'm like, no, no, no. no. But on stream, you're no. amazing. Absolutely you're so energetic. Here. No way. If it wasn't for the cocktails, I think I wouldn't be able to talk to Yen when I first met her. <laughs> the weird thing is I don't drink, guys. I, I'm totally not a drinker. So I'm like this that's all the very time. Good. I'm like yeah, this all that, the time. Good. But I, I don't and, know. And you don't need it because like you're naturally, you know, expressive. Yeah. And and not that, you know, people should rely on it, but like it's if you if if it's gonna help it would be, no. I would be crazy. I would end up being pregnant by David Gilmore or something oh, if I was no. a drinker. <laughs> <laughs> if I was a drinker, it would not be a good thing because I'm already cray. So I can identify. So, uh, I um, drink sugar. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's been so fun being with Dutch Rocker. He's so fun. I hope to hear more of the original stuff because that's definitely the future on Twitch. Yeah, we want to hear that. We want to hear your original stuff. But yeah, there is a, you can find it on Spotify. It's a band called Open Fire. There's not a, not, you might not be able to find it because there are more bands called Open Fire. Um, but yeah, feel free to check it out. It's, it's, it, I'm very proud still. Yeah. Um, and hopefully in this year, I will create some own music as well. And we'll just have to see how it goes. Well, you want to hit him with that 12? Uh, yeah, yeah. 12? I wanted to hear your 12 songs to the soundtrack of your life. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, let's go. We're gonna, we gonna start. So, um, when I was like a, a small kid, like three years old, okay, you had the, I had this mini ukulele and mm -hmm. like this spoon, a huge spoon, if you know what I mean. And I was like, um, yeah, a huge spoon. And I have the ukulele and I was watching André Rieu. You guys know André Rieu? He's no. like this Dutch violin player, classical music. Mm -mm. And um, he was, so he, what he does is he plays 
in a goofy way, but classical music, all, almost always the same repertoire and in kind of goofy way. But I was three years old and I wanted to act exactly like him. I was I wanted to be Andre Rieu. Uh -huh. So my first one would be when I was three years old, uh, the second waltz from Andre Rieu. Yes. Nice. Okay. So that so which and is his most um influential song then when you were a kid no I, it, it isn't I, you know i don't even remember that i did that i just have the videos <laughs> fortunately <laughs> but okay. it's always when my mom said yeah he's going to do something with music and that's also what my kindergarten teacher said he's going to do something with music and that started out with me playing with a spoon on a ukulele to so cute. Let's do you go. have any do you have any pictures how rock and roll do you want it to be guys ukulele i mean come on classical <laughs> i mean you were five right you were in kindergarten you said i was uh yeah very small no i was three three four years old it's like yeah, kindergarten means something different there i believe than it means here or pre-kindergarten pre pre-k yeah when you're before yeah, pre -k. Mm -hmm. so that, that um, was so yeah. that that might be the first one. And the second one will be Blaue Ruis from Bluff, the first concert I went to. Um, that was a, a very important song to me because I we got this second-handed guitar from the black market somewhere and the, the strings were all screwed up and I was like uh, uh, rocking my ass off with a very out-of-tune guitar and no clue how to play it. Um, so I will go with that as my second. Blauwe Ruis from, from Bluff. It's a, it's a great track, great track. Great band, by the way. It's Dutch, but great band. And the third song I will go with is probably November Rain, because that is what started me to really want to play. <laughs> Which is also in my <laughs> top three all-time favorite so i'm just going in a chronolo uh, chronological order right here okay so i uh, so i know where i am so to speak um so yeah november rain after that i will go with victory is won by santana Ooh. Ooh. you know that too yeah at least that yeah oh it's that's like the first big concert i went to was santana in ahoy rotterdam and he played that tune and i was like this small boy crying my eyes out it was so oh. emotional i still remember it like it was yesterday it was one of the best concerts i've seen yes um so i'm at four now right yeah four um yeah that was santana then i'll go with five which will probably be um anthem by trivium we are the fire. Da, 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 that one. Mm -hmm. mm. That's a good one. Um, then six will be comfortably numb. Mm, that so was good. In mid school. That's definitely yes. up there for me too. Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yes, uh, comfortably numb. Uh, seven will probably be uh, tender surrender by Steve Vai. Mm. And such a such a tune as well <laughs> nigel shit. yeah that's what does he say what does he no, say it's, this is in joke that we i had with huh? him on another stream um don't make me start about sandwich stories sandwich yeah. stories <laughs> <laughs> we'll, 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 yourself we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it <laughs> after the songs okay okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, there was seven, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, I tried to put in like one song per band. It's making it extra hard, but okay. Um, let's see. End of Heartache has been a big influence on me as well by Killswitch. Mm -hmm. um, that's eight. And then nine must be the one and only, maybe my all-time favorite song, Octavarium. Hey. Oh, yes. Yeah yeah that's my all-time favorite song uh there is no song that grabs me more than that i'm not gonna lie it's the best <laughs> it's the best it just hits you every um, time 
Yes, every time, especially when that end solo kicks in. One of his best solos ever. It's just oh, yeah. mind-blowing. Mm. Absolutely. Emotional. Very, very emotional. And the symphonic epicness and the the huge end. Okay. I mean, you That's see, he's like talking about it, and you're just like... Uh, it's usually favorite. one of the songs I always end with on like my streams is between yeah, that. Um, what's the other I one? I want to hear that one, one now because you guys are talking about it so much. Oh yeah, I yeah. can imagine. Yeah, it's such so a good. Thing. Holy shit. Um. So yeah, what was I at? Seven Ten? was it or eight? Seven. Ah. <laughs> Seven. We lost count. Oh, shit, we lost count already. We we talk too much, guys. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll just continue from where I left off. So, um, nine. I wanted to pick Hollow Years because it made a huge difference for me in my life, but nine. I'm not going to do it. Um, so, Octavarium it was, and I must go with a, a track by Haken as well. Um, and I will go for Visions, probably. Mm. Yeah. Um, absolute tune. So you're a Haken fan. And you're a Haken I and... love Haken. Yes, I love Haken. Do, do you know um, Cam and Spence drums? Yes, yes. He, he sings with, uh, he plays with, with a vocalist. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause I, I was, I was wondering if you actually like knew cause he's, yeah. And yeah, he's an amazing yeah. drummer too. He is. Yes. And that band is crazy as well. I love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah. Um, we had him on the podcast. Yeah, he, we had him, and then he was telling us about um, yeah. uh, he did the Tesseract. Um, Tesseract. The the what was the thing that he did for the drum? Or the it was their like live show that yeah. they were. Yeah, I still haven't on. seen it. I still haven't seen it though. I need to see it. But yeah, yeah he they, there's a lot of like awesome people on on stream that's been on the podcast, and now I can yes. say now I can say I had Dutch Rocker on. I can a... say I'm in that row. I mean, come on. Let's you go. Are. You, Let's are. Go. Yes. you are. You <laughs> are part of the awesome people. Everyone's exactly. an awesome person Let's that we go. had on our podcast. Everyone's so special. <laughs> like, for real. I'm not going to lie. Yes. Like, it's like one of those things that you look back and you see everyone that's been. You're like, wow. Like, How is... fulfilling is that, right? It's, it's I mean... beautiful. We still haven't even finished the podcast review because so much stuff has happened in the last month and a half. But like yeah. it's, it was over 30 podcasts last year of and I just wanted to like go through all the the moments and pick which were the best moments. And it was just too many of them. And it's mm -hmm. still like it's, it's like, like two to three hours each video just trying to find highlights. And you know? depending <laughs> yeah. on how long the stream was. <laughs> So yeah. I know Nigel was like six. I think he had us for like six hours. He, and we didn't even ask him yeah. any questions. He was just no, talking and we were just letting him. <laughs> letting him talk. We had to find like Nigel moments talk where for like 24 yeah. hours it, yeah. without asking a question. He will answer everything. All your questions. I'd, ha I'd have to fade him out every time. Just <laughs> Classic Nigel. <laughs> Seven oh, hours later. Nigel. Fade what in. A legend. <laughs> What a legend. <laughs> yes, I love it. Absolutely. Shit, guys. More songs. Um, blah, 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 blah. Yes, I will probably go for one that is pretty recent for me. Um, but it's also one of the most amazing bands I've seen live. It's in my top three concerts ever. And that's the Neil Morris Band. Oh, Neil Morris is good. If you don't know it, check it out. You will know what hit you. They have this um, concept album. Uh, Solo Scriptura. Two, two parts. It's Part one is the similitude of a dream. Beautiful. And part two is the shit, the great adventure. Yes. And, oh, the great adventure is good. Oh, my God. Yeah. I've seen both albums integrally live. And it was like, that was exactly the same thing I had with, uh, there's something happening there. Um, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I can say I'm not a believer, if you know what I mean, but something happens there where I can't put my finger on, if you know what I mean. And it's not human. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it it's comes like from above, from this... another like realm of, 
Yeah, there's been people that oh, have been. Just so you know, the Neil Morris is is very spiritual. Like he's he's a, very he's a, spiritual. He's, he's a yeah. Christian, so all, his music is exactly. based off of uh, the Bible in general. Yeah. So um, so he pulls that energy from from the scriptures. Yeah, exactly. And and but he, he brings an energy as well. Um, and I had a nice chat with him afterwards, and um, I was like what is it and he said it's all the lord and i was like, yeah <laughs> he's yeah. Just gonna re reference that he's just sure. yeah he 100 he, he, he's like praise the lord and it's really into the lord and i fucking respect that mm. um so when i chatted with him i was like ah, but this is like there's something happening and what happens at that gig at almost every gig they play like this epic ending song um and 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 the whole band starts crying and the entire crowd wow. starts crying. Everyone is in tears. I had like my cups of beer and I was like, <laughs> my girlfriend was like... watching at me and she saw like these tears grounding while I was like, <laughs> it's been a long. And she saw all the drops, the tears from my eyes dropping in my beer. Like she had to laugh a bit, but I was like, oh, mm, no. no. That's I was intense. Like, no. Are you salting up the beers with the beer with the tears? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, it was absolutely yeah. So I would go with um, "Long Day" by Neil Moore's band. That is one of my favorite songs. Um, and then I'll go to Stephen Wilson, not uh, Noise. Porcupine Tree, but oh. Stephen Wilson. So good. Um, and there was one song in particular. Um, I always have this thing with um, clips, video clips, that it's like kind of a must to make it a single and most clips don't actually improve the song if you know what i mean and then mm. i noticed the video clip for um the song oh my god you're not gonna tell me i'm not getting on on the name right now but that that clip actually lifts that song to a whole new level and it's absolutely beautiful is it's it on the hand erase um what is the song called it's it's by porcupine tree no, by Stephen Wilson. By Stephen Wilson himself. Yeah. Mm. Chat. Help can, him out if, can, he, if he said it before this. in I his must chat. Check it out. Um. Because I'm, I'm the whole, I'm like, it's anesthetized, anesthetized, and I'm not. No, 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 no. That's no, that's Parky Yeah, <laughs> that's my favorite one. R routine, 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 routines. Oh my God, Stephen yeah, Wilson's routine. routines. Guys and girls, I'm gonna listen check to it. it. Yeah, check, yeah. check. I keep check hearing that because, too because, about him. Wow, it absolutely lifts the song to next level. It's crazy. It's absolutely mind blowing. Stephen Wilson's um, writing capability is just mind blowing. Like, he, yes, the way he just c creates music is just out of the ordinary and so good. And the tones, and it's yeah. it's just, it's so pure as well. It's not overly produced or mixed. It's so pure. It's like this is how it was recorded. This is how it was meant, if you know what mm -hmm. I mean. Mm -hmm. And I really like that. I really like that. Yeah. Um, and also, I must go with uh, Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. Because that solid was one. Um, one of the first songs I've played live in my life. Yeah. Hmm. Yes. The banger. <laughs> Pretty sure That's we hit we cheesy. hit a threshold of our twelve. <laughs> I think we did, right? Yeah. I think we did. Yeah. Yes. That's pretty. So, that's that's a, that's a good list. That's a great list. It's pretty diverse as well. Uh, mostly mm -hmm. proggy because that's just what is uh, closest to my memory, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, it's <laughs> all-time <laughs> favorite song. That's the Fairy of Dick by by a long shot. <laughs> by a long shot. <laughs> It's great. Octavarium is my jam. If you want to send me to an island, and because people ask that question, they're like, okay, um, you're going to an island. You can have like one amp, one pedal, one guitar, and one CD. What is it going to be? Oh, that's an easy question for me. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> oh, yes. It's, uh, it's my Mesa Boogie. It's uh -huh. my uh, delay, because delay is the best effect in the world. And I agree. It's my music man. And it's Octavarium. That's that's it. Those are it's good. easy. Yeah. 
that's it. I, when did you, when did you pick me, up your music, man? Um, two years ago now, I believe. Yeah, two years ago. What's your dream guitar? <clears throat> Do you own it, or what? What's your next guitar that you would? I'm pretty sure get? he owns it because <laughs> that guitar is a. <laughs> Is, yeah. is a nice that's guitar. Because that's that's, that's, that's you have a, you have a, you have here. quite a few. I've seen. In your... I have quite a few, but then yeah, one does never have enough guitars. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's like one doesn't no, have. I actually more. need um, I need two more. Really need it for the um, for the Dream Theater tribute band. I need um, I need a seven string Majesty and I need a baritone Majesty. Um, so those are the next two on the list whenever I'm able to purchase them. Yeah. Hmm. What color? I don't actually care as long as it okay. sounds pretty good. Okay, because you, you have like all the colors already. That's why. Uh, n no, I'm, I'm I'm pretty sucker for nice looking guitars. I'm not going to lie. But the majesties, all the majesties are so good. Mm -hmm. All of them. Do you know uh, the Goose Chase? I do, yeah seen his guitar collection <laughs> i don't think i've seen all of his guitars no he's got, he's got a nice uh, array of guitars behind Colors. him i believe that yes i believe that yeah the <laughs> goose is a pretty sick player yeah i yeah. love him yeah we it's had him last the, time last time last week and he was really really fun and he also talked about a spirituality and how he had a buddhist uh, metal band it was a, a, a buddhist a deaf metal band and i was like what that's amazing <laughs> yeah <laughs> but i yeah, love that are. i love when people yes. say that too when they say when they're not afraid to say that they play for the lord because that's what um baroli said that the first concert he ever played was in church and he was like well you know we, yeah. we don't play for the audience we play for the lord and then we play for the, for audience. the lord yeah and i was like that's exactly. so beautiful i was like yeah. See, this is why he's so nice because he just has that upbringing of spirituality you know and jmod exactly. jmod the same thing he said he started in in um a christian band right in, in church and so, gospel yeah gospel yeah so uh, gospel music is like something else it's just like a di total different level mm -hmm. of music i can i can go to church just to listen to gospel music i fucking love it it's got a lot of energy yeah it's so, so energetic. It's so well done. It's like I like contemporary, next level. like contemporary church music and stuff. But like once once you hit that gospel level, that's it. Yeah. You are <laughs> that, you are dancing. You're throwing your hat off. You're exactly. You can sit still. It's, you're feeling and, it, and your your emotions are going everywhere. It's like then you're laughing and you're like ah yes yeah very happy and then it's like oh, okay. and then you're like but it's exactly... and then you're like 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 dutch like with the the beers and going like this to like each side with his two beers in hand i mean i believe it because i i did cry in a few concerts because i was feeling it so much so mm -hmm. thank you yeah, so much I'm, for the i'm fun. a pretty emotional Zuto. wreckage and i feel that i cry every concert almost yeah, yeah, I'm empathetic, so I can feel like emotions through music as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it, it often hits me, especially when it's very good and very well played. Yeah, especially, especially Octavarium. <laughs> especially Octavarium. Oh man, that's like on my bucket list. I need to listen to Octavarium live, and I hope they will do it even one time. Please, Dream Theater, if you're somehow in one crazy or another way watching this please <laughs> play octavarium live next to it, please <laughs> yes i've never seen that one live i wish so i got a few more questions for you let's go what uh, do you name your guitars because i know you no. like to name her guitars and she finds it i'm a freak one. i guess i don't know i just named them like different girl names i don't i don't i'm weird <laughs> Who's named it? It names his guitars. Hey, yes, there, there are a lot of people. Eric Clapton calls, uh, gives her names. Yes. Mostly they're females, right? Yeah. 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 It's like she and her. Yeah. No, it's just my guitar. And I, it's just the name. It's, <laughs> it's my like, It's like cars, it's right? Like guys <laughs> name their cars like different names. I don't name Is my car. <laughs> <laughs> what would your car's name be, though? It would be like... Burn. 
car is busted. It's, it's <laughs> my, uh, my car like, is it gets me around, but you know, it just. <laughs> Point A to B. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, my car is called Fiat Stilo. That's it. <laughs> yeah, no specific name. Mine would be like if I had a really cool sports car, it would be like Raptor or something. It would have some name like Raptor. Yeah. yeah, that sounds dope. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. <laughs> that does sound. Yeah, that sounds nice. dope. <laughs> you said, babe. You said your guitar was name was Shirley, right? Yeah, because I love um Shirley Manson um in, from Garbage, and that was like mm -hmm. my biggest like. I I just think she's like a hot um like lead lead singer in the '90s. Like I I just remember listening to her and just being like, oh, like I don't know. She just has that presence, and she's a Virgo too. So you know, she just has that that energy and. And she yeah. was like, she's sassy. She's not afraid to speak her mind, and she uses her platform for good and to. Um... Oh, she's spicy, you know. So I liked her. I liked yes. her a lot, and and um, yeah, and and she has an amazing like everybody in her band is like basically a producer or some kind of like freaking mogul in the music industry. So she has an arsenal of like amazing humans backing her up in the yeah. band. So. That's why. That's why I named. I think she's powerful, and I like powerful women. So. I can imagine, yeah. Yeah. But um, what was the other question that I was gonna ask? Um, shoot. Um. Did it have something to do with the guitars? I think it was, but now I don't remember it. But <laughs> I don't know. It's been a very long January, uh -huh. and February is here, and February is gonna be the month of love, guys. The month exactly. of love. So we're going to have, I got, Make I got love. a heart, <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to, but you can't even see it. Um, but yeah, uh, next week we have the, um, well, Saturday, sat the seventh, what's the seventh? Is it Saturday or Sunday? I think it's Sunday, Sunday. Uh, it's in five days. Sunday. No, it's in five days. Yeah. That's Saturday, right? Sunday, Sunday, Sunday we have Sunday. Yes. Reina Vandell. He's right here behind me. He's a drummer, and he's going to be on the podcast. It's going to be a different day because he's um, on the other side of the world. So that's why I'm so grateful that Dutch um, has been here, and it's like at 2 or 3 in the morning over there. So I thank you so much yes. because sometimes I want to have people really bad on the podcast, and their time, is, their time zone is crazy, right? So I make exceptions uh -huh. for, you know, for amazing people i would have made an exception for him but he wanted to, he said it was fine it, he said it was fine yeah. so that's mm -hmm. on sunday on month on tuesday we have a harpist a windy harpist for the month of love i wanted somebody you know very romantic very beautiful and something different so she's going to be on the podcast on tuesday next week instead of monday it's going to be tuesday guys so remember you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna get double um the podcast double, yeah double sunday podcasts and awesome. Tuesday so watch out for that it's fine um earth <laughs> should be flat for most of the time time zones <laughs> yeah Max was on on yeah. he was on and he was like he was a trooper because he's in Sweden and he did the regular time zone Max is a night owl though he's, but he's a night owl he's, <laughs> on, he's, he's until the sun rises ahead of me it's it's very think, very early in the morning for Max yeah, right it's now. It's four four forty there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Max. something like that. Yeah, and we had some amazing raids tonight. We had Max a drum. Very awesome. We had Nigel first come in, and then we had Thomas Frank. So you guys yeah. are amazing. You guys bringing in the love Absolutely and the support. Absolutely mind blowing. And I love every single one of you guys. It's been um. A lot of love, you know, and and the trucker has a great fridge. Can we see the fridge? <laughs> Good cop, get the fuck out. <laughs> he said it. I didn't. Yeah. He was. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, good but guys, yes. um, Dutch rocker, when's the next time we can catch you live this week? uh in a couple of hours i believe um i'm going on um to to my time tomorrow so what is it 10 hours from now and get some good rest up <laughs> 
Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You have, you have We're a set schedule? Shit up again? Yes, I do. Yes, I start, I stream three times a week from 2 to 5 Central European time, um, which is on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Okay. <clears throat> there you go. Now you know where to catch him and, and when to catch him. Exactly. Make sure you don't miss out. He's going to be streaming a couple hours oh, after yeah. the stream is done. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So make sure you're also following do a lot him. Of... You don't miss out. Yes. And the YouTube. Follow the YouTube. It's going Follow to be the YouTube. Awesome. YouTube. And also his okay. his Instagram is really fun too because he puts there clips. There you go. There goes his YouTube. Thank you, making money for the hundred biddies. And thanks everybody Let's for being go. here. And we're gonna find somebody to raid. I don't know if Dutch Rock oh, or there's we're anybody. We're gonna play one more song, right? We're gonna play the uh, Spirit Carries On, right? Yes, he's gonna play that song, and it's gonna be amazing. And let's see what other. I think I I feel like I I missed something, but I I don't know. It's. I think, I think we covered it. I think we covered everything. Yeah. All right, guys. So stay for the raid. I don't see it here. I, I remembered what I I remembered what I forgot, but I don't see it here. All right, guys. Um, thanks so much for everything. You're my rock star. You shine in this New York City sky. And remember, guys, everyone that's here, that's a supporter. You guys don't have to be a New Yorker, but you guys are Yen yeah, Yorkers. And thank you so much for supporting the stream and loving what we do here. Um, it, this is going to grow. It's going to keep growing. Um, one day this will be a live studio and I can't wait to have my friends from all over the world come visit New York City and come uh, in how person. How good would that be? It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Goals. You know? And that's that's the goal. And the goal for um, Barry, Dutch Rocker, we're going to get him to partner. It's going to happen. All right. It's going to happen organically, go. but it's going to happen. Let's yes, go. exactly. We just got to have fun. That's the most important thing. Um, but yeah, guys and girls, I would like to thank you, both you, Lona and Yen. It means a lot. You were very kind and it's very good to be here. For those of you who are up in the coming weeks or months, maybe, uh, you will you will have a blast being here. They're so kind. They're so heartwarming for you. And uh, I want to say thank you for everyone who's been able to like stay up till this time just to watch this. It means a lot. And uh, I love you all. It's just one big happy family um and we don't do time zones screw that it's just what's time we zone? love what is it what's time, time get, anymore get i don't out. even know get what out. time is anymore there's no concept of time in my life now exactly <laughs> right it's just exactly pure love now so, there's no rhythm there's no time no not at all so guys i can't wait to see you in the next stream and in barry's stream i'll be hanging out there next his Hell next yeah. stream and so yeah let's let's uh Let's hear the last song of the night and then stick around one for more the tune? wind. Yes, one more. And it's um, by Dream Theater, right? Yeah, it's an emotional song. And um, please enjoy everyone. It's, it's funny. Uh, I always love this one. Yen had a post on uh, Instagram that had the song in the background. Was this was this planned? Like, did you guys talk about this? Or <laughs> I've been hearing that song because, you know, Dutch Rocker, when my mom passed away, he, he put in um, his condolences how, you know, her spirit carries on. And that made me cry because I do believe in that. <laughs> and so it was just fitting that he would close it out with that, you know, after right. the last week that I've had. Sorry. But yeah, um, it's perfect. And um, Dutch Rocker, I appreciate you. You're a lovely person. Awesome guitarist streamer and yeah lots of love to you and everything i just you deserve so much in the community because you're one of the really really amazing streamers that put a lot of energy a lot of soul and yeah i i believe you're gonna get to partnered and we're gonna we're gonna get that we're gonna, we're gonna get that going guys just go support him love Thank him you guys. go sub and he's gonna close it out it means a lot thank you for having me it means let's a lot uh to let's me. Let's just, for those of you who are sub to my channel in this case, please uh, spam those ladder emotes right here. All right. Spam Let's them, guys. This. Get them hype emotes. Spam Let's them. go. Let's go. Where did we come from? Why are we here? Where do we go when we die? What lies beyond? 
What lay before is anything certain in life? They say life is too short.
thank you all so much. Let's go. You are once again surrounded by a brilliant white light. <laughs> Awesome, dude. Beautiful. Thank you guys. So, it so beautiful. Lot. It was so beautiful. It's an honor to play this soon. I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's wow. It was like perfect that you actually were the one that I had to see after everything that happened last week. It's just, it was just so emotional and you've been so sympathetic and amazing. And I just love how everyone's been um, so supportive and loving. And it, it was, it, I, it's like I almost don't have words because it's just the love that I've received was unexpected and it's it's good when you don't expect anything from anyone but when you see the love that it exists and it's pure yeah it that's what you deserve it Jen am I gonna cry no <laughs> crying, uh, no 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 let's no no raid <laughs> that's right that's right but I love you guys so much it, it means yes. the world to me thank um, you all. and having these podcasts has kept me also going and sane and 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 I just music is healing it's freaking healing and we're here together and all of us are supporting each other and um one stream at a time we get stronger together building um great communities great um music within everyone here you know doing collabs doing um all kinds of stuff here on twitch and yeah follow this beautiful man because he's gonna do big things and yeah it's gonna be awesome to see him grow and get to the places where he wants to be because he deserves it too so, thank you so much Jen. thank you so much and it's been a pleasure and an honor to have you here dutch rocker and it I was hope a party it was a party yes, yes. I had a blast. A Thanks. lap. It's fun. Much love to you Absolutely. all. Absolutely. And let's see. I, I'm. I don't know. I'm just. I. Did you guys find anyone? Because I'm over here looking. Um, that is him. Is there anyone you want to? Um. I'm looking at who's online now. Um. Um. There are not many. Well, I, normally I'm not awake, or at least not on Twitch anymore. So I, that it's hard. Um, Go. Uh, you, I mean, Samus is on. We can try to <laughs> rating Samus is always good. <laughs> Grim is on. Um, yeah, well, you want to do that? Yeah. I never rated yeah. him, and he's any, any one of those. And he's another Virgo too. So let's do it. Um, do you want to? Uh, do you want to we'll set go it up? For it. You want to set it up or do you want me to? Uh, you do it on your side. Are you doing watch party? Oh no, that's Tim. Okay. <laughs> I still want his shirt, by the way. His, his forever, it. forever. Uh, his no, it's Sam is, is oh, 20, Samus is 22. Shirt. Yeah. Is that... Forever 22. Yeah, that was so funny when I saw that. I was like, I need that shirt in my life. <laughs> All right, guys, I think I got it right. Um, did I get it right? All right, uh, somebody put the command, please, for the raid. I got it. Uh, raid. We got this. And S, uh, sub raid. There you go. Copy that. Paste it. Let's spam some love. Show them some love. And on Sunday, we got Raina Vandell, and then we have Harpist Wendy Harper on Tuesday. So I hope you Let's guys go. had fun. And yeah. Absolutely. Let's go. Stay for the raid. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you. Love you. And I'll see you on the next Take care. stream.
Let's play Final Fantasy. Let's go.